Welcome to What's Up Co-op Shop. Steve here with my lovely wife, Kim. Hi, everybody. Why was that a question? <laughs> are you Kim? Who are you? Who are you doing? What are you doing here? Take two. Take two. <laughs> no. <God. laughs> Some people call me Tim. No, no. no. Yes. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to One Stop Co-op Shop. As you can tell, it's been a little crazy. We are here to play my all-time favorite game. This is my number one game of all time. Cool. I got, I got cool. Okay. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I love this game, Spirit Island. So I'm always, always happy to play this one. I'm glad Kim suggested it. Um, we won't be teaching you the rules, but we'll explain a little bit as we go, like normal. So, but yeah, it's been, it's been a fun day. And apparently, if you're having trouble getting a kid to sleep, if you pretend to fall out of bed. Oh yeah, you just busted your gut. There you go. But if anyone asks, I fell out by mistake. <laughs> That's right. But by no, mis he, by he, mistake. he doesn't ask, are you okay? There's no empathy. No. It is just laughter, which is great. <laughs> so no, it was a fine bedtime. Yeah, it was it was a good day. But yeah, let's um let's just jump into it, I think, right? Okay. So we've set everything up. Um I do have some counters running above me here. You'll see we've got the fear counter, uh that red fear marker is the terror level level, and below that we have blight as well. So we get to zero, game over. No. No? Just kidding. If Apparently you can't have to play this game as much. <laughs> Wait. If we... Um... Well, no, but then... If we have you four said... Blight on the Healthy Island. If we get all those off, we flip it over and see what it says. But the game will continue. Yeah, but it wouldn't be good. Yes, normally it's not good. There, There's some good stuff in there, though. It's rare, but there's some good stuff in there. Okay. We'll just I'm just much. so used to never wanting those to go away. That's That's a true statement. It's best to stay healthy as much as possible. See? Yep. Strategy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> How you do lose is if you're, someone loses all the presents, or if you run out of time, um, or if... Um, oh, yeah, if you flip the Blight card, there's, an, there's another Blight effect as well. So that could trigger the end game. And we win by completing the Terror level. So, hey, hey, Ben O'Cleef. Ben O'Cleef? Benoclef? I'm not sure how to say your <laughs> handle name. I'm so sorry. Thank you for joining, and I apologize for butchering your name. <laughs> so, welcome. Hi. Well, you were looking at the name, too. I'm not sure. Well, I was just trying to get your attention. Turn the chat off. <laughs> <laughs> One of those streams. Just oh, no, work. we're good. Okay. All right. I am playing... We win if we get rid of everything off the board currently. Because we're on ter Terror Level 1. Okay. That's not going to happen. But we normally get down to like two and then yeah. it's just... Yeah, it's a little bit easier at two and then okay. potentially even three. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> no problem. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. So I'm playing tonight as Sharp Fangs Behind the Leaves. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Which I will call him Spot. Spot. Your spirit is named Spot. Okay. Or Max, because that is our non-existence dog's name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <I'll>... <laughs> just ben all right thank you ben okay ben okay ben we'll, we'll call you we'll call you ben for now on thank Perfect. you yeah um no, so max max okay well because Interesting. if we were to get we had talked about getting a dog for years and it just never has happened and we're not going to get a dog here's um, a fun fun little qu quiz max is actually named after some some cultural movie reference are you pop quizzing i'm pop quizzing Curious if you guys can guess what that is a reference to. It's, it's a hard one, but... Should I say more? We'll give, we'll give more hints later in the stream. We'll, how about okay, that? Okay. Let, let it ride for now. Our non-existent dog, Max. <laughs> so, yes, you're playing Sharp Fangs, who focuses on the beasts on Spirit Island. And I'm playing Lure of the Deep Wilderness, which is, for naming them, I'll call him Lighthead. I don't know. He's cool because he's got this big uh, glowing orb, and he tries to lure people away from the shoreline into... The wilderness. Okay. So yeah, interesting about my character is I cannot go on any of the, uh, the shores. Um, so I have to watch for that. I'll have to try to pull things away. But he's really fun because he uses all the tokens. He's one of my more favorite spirits I've played. Okay. Cool. Okay, we got the board set up. Um, we are not playing any... We're playing pretty vanilla, just events and... Because you stuff. pitied me from <laughs> what you've been doing lately in all our other games. I've been making very challenging most games. So we'll, we'll try... try on this way okay and 
Um, your special rules. Do you know what your special rules are real quick before we start going? It's very um, important to know. I can... I can move my presence, presence yep. with the... Uh, beast. Wow. With the raw. Um, new special <laughs> term. Sorry. The, the beast rawr. token. <laughs> um, so he can travel with the beast tokens. Yep. And then during the spirit phase, I can replace one of my spirits with a beast token. And that spirit leaves the game and cannot be resummoned. Yep. Yeah, the minor. Which I probably won't use that because that's just. Well, end game maybe. Okay. But yeah, most of yeah. the time I don't use that. Yeah. Um, but uh, for mine, like I said, I can't go on the shorelines. And then his special abilities enthrall the foreign explorers. For each of your presence in a land, ignore up to two uh, explorers during the ravage step in any ravage actions. From, um, I'm guessing just those explorers. For each of the, your explorers in a land, ignore up to two workers during the ravage step. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, I'm just going to trust you to do it right. It just means that um, my my presence stops these guys from doing damage. Okay. That's what it comes out to. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's start up. So the first thing we'll do is choose our growth actions. Okay. We already did this. We already did, yes. Okay. We did that first part of setups. Now we're... Yeah, the explored sands are going to build on sands. Okay. Okay. Growth. I am. So I've got two options. I can add a, add a presence. Um, could mean a town. Could mean a town, question mark. You say, for each of your presence in a land, ignore up to two explorers during the ravage step and any ravage actions. Yeah, because the ravage step affects everybody else ravages too, right? Yes, everyone ravages too. I don't know what it means by in any ravage actions. It's kind of weird. I assume it just means for the two explorers. That's a good question. Oh, town equals two explorers? That's a good question. Um, I don't think so because it specifically calls out the two explorers like that. Um, it's possible. I'll check. Actually, I'll check the rule book a little bit here. Um, as, as we're playing. That's a good question, Ben. <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to look it up. Okay. Um, okay, so growth. I can... I'm going to add a presence to a land. So now... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. I'm going to put... Do I do more card play? Or to get more en energy. Let's go for the card well, I don't have an F1 energy. Okay. I need the energy. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my presence here for my growth. And then I can choose to gain a power card or gain abilities. And, and Oh, I don't have to. I can actually... Yes. Okay, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to do the bottom part, and then I'm going to choose to gain two energy. Um... And a symbol. So what I'm going to do here, here's what I'm thinking. I want to play my my secret beckon ever inward. And so what I'm thinking about doing is I want to pull um, the explorers, the towns, and a bunch of people. And I'll pull them into the center zone right here. Uh, the bad thing is there's a blight there. That's the problem with my strategy. That's, that's the biggest problem with my strategy. Um, I don't have a way of getting rid of light. Can you, can you get rid of light by chance? Do you have a way of doing that? Not in my hand. Mm. I'm so used to playing with that other spirit that I just turn everything to, into fast. Like fast cards. Yeah. So these explorers are going to add towns, right? They don't switch into towns. No, they're yeah. adding towns. That's correct. Okay. Yep. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to gather everything into that spot. But the problem is I'm, I'm also banking on on that blight being a horrible situation. Um, I might I might do things a little bit differently. I might instead of getting the two energy, I'll I'll do this. And let me gain a power card because I really want to get rid of that blight somehow. So here we go. Let's gain I'm gonna write comment real quick. And here's my power card to gain. I can gain my Add a Badlands. So Badlands is a new token of the game. It lets you increase the damage that something would do in that land. That's what that means. Uh, so like if the um, 
If you did a damage, you do an extra damage. If Dahana attacked, they can do an extra damage as well. Uh, super defend, which is awesome. Um, here is a... Oh, this is nice. I can remove Blight that way. Uh, with Teeming Rivers. And then... Gold to Lure. Hmm. This is only good for Mountains and Wetlands. Though it would be good to where I am right now. Yep. Um, hey, Kevin. Welcome. Thanks for joining. So he's asking... Well, first, complimenting your setup. Very nice. Steven. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Appreciate Thank it. Kevin. I am interrupting your strategy strategy chat. Excuse me. <laughs> um, the numbers in the upper left. Go through those again. Real quick. Yes. The top one is going to be the fear. How much fear we gained. The red to icon there is the terror level. So those terror levels one, two, and three. That's like controls the winning condition. And the bottom one below that is how many blight we have on the healthy island card. Good questions, Kevin. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. If you don't know what that means, let me know and I can explain that further. So what are, what are you doing with your cards? I, I, I am I am trying to figure out own stuff and not paying any sorts of attention to you. <laughs> I know. Um, normal. Normal, yes, <laughs> yes, normal. Um, no, I'm trying to figure out how I can. I want to put guys into the middle of this, and I want I want to get rid of them, but I don't think I can. Instead, what I might do is I might just grab this super awesome defend card because I love that card. Defend ten is just amazing. So let me. Let me grab that. I figure that's a good, good start. Okay. I might undo what I did. Let's see. So what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be. So I did all my growth. Yes, I did all my growth. I'm going to gain my energy. Nope, I'm not going to gain that. I can only play one card. I'm only going to be playing this card, and I'm just going to pull everyone away from that horribleness and and get into that center area. And then I'm going to use the defense to defend like crazy there, is my goal. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to play these two. You play these two? Okay. Yeah. So, add a fear, kill a dude, add a fear, add a, add a beast. Add a monster dude, a raw dude, oh, yeah. it's a first term. Beast token. <laughs> okay. And keep track, can only can target blight locations with that. Yeah, there's one on the board. It's okay, okay, just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Um. So Kevin has another question here. He says, I don't know what this means, but can you explain it as a matter within the game context so I don't slow down the playthrough for that list? Yes, totally can. I will point this out as we go. And if you haven't played, I can do a little more explanation than I normally do, which is pretty much none. <laughs> so... Well, that's the thing is you're always like, I'm not going to explain the game. We're just going to play and go, go, go. I know, go. but people like, I want to make sure people can follow and, you know, <laughs> know. Ask questions. this is the time to ask questions, honestly. No, it's perfect. Right? It's perfect. This is, this is why we do I this just, live. I just tease because you always make that disclaimer. <laughs> no. It's true. Keep the questions coming. It's helpful. It's fine. It's fine. It makes him so happy, you guys. It really does. It does. I just, I love the interaction. So if you guys have anything you want to say, make fun of us, say, why are you jumping out of bed and making why kids laugh? Why did you marry him? Yes, why did you marry this guy? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How did you make this game harder without telling Kim? Which... You didn't you didn't this game. I, I did not this game. This game is uh, yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Well now I feel pitied, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You can <laughs> never please me. <laughs> <laughs> Can't win. Okay. Okay, did, did you, you... So you chose chose your Yeah, so options? I um I added a present okay. and I can add one uh, within three spaces of a jungle or a Beast token. Yep. You pick two, right? What do you mean I picked two? Your growth is pick two. Oh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's... I'm going to... sorry, guys. It's a great start. I'm going to do this other one over here. I'm going to take an energy, and I'm going to pick another minor power. Okay, cool. Just do your thing. How many do I draw four? I'm waiting for you. Yeah, draw four, four and pick one. Yep. And the good a good tip as you're playing this game is when you draw your powers, you tend to want to watch the sidebar here and get the icons that are going to help you. Um, I completely ignore that because I just want a card that's going to help me early in the game. But um, yes. what you want to do is kind of get those those innate powers triggered generally. Isolate target land. That means they cannot explore there, right? Good question. Isolate is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Kevin's... <laughs> Make me laugh here. Can't feel sorry for you. You look great together. Thank, Thank you, you, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> so isolate is this token here, which may show up weird on my green screen. I apologize. Um, let me grab yours. Yours is probably Mine better. Mine is better. Yours is better. This is isolate token, 
And basically, it's a new for Jagged Earth expansion. And what it means is when you're resolving effects, you can choose to have treat that um, island section as adjacent to something else or not. And the nice thing is it's particularly useful for explorers, explorations because you can say that's not adjacent to the land and people won't explore into it. Or it won't be a source of exploration from it either. It's very, very good. Now, it's not the greatest by itself, but if you can get, drop a couple down, it is very powerful. Okay. I may have just changed my mind, but thank you for explaining that. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> is that good? I mean, or um, I could have this defend five and add fear in, like, towns that would just be destroying us. Yep. Okay, I'm going to do that one. Yep. Okay. Okay, here we go. So you chose your stuff. Um, you want to play your cards. You can play two cards. You get one energy. I get another energy. Yep. I could take an energy from my pile. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. You can do it. I'm just doing hard time. <laughs> it's nothing new. I'm just it's always... nothing new. I'm just Steve, your give stuff. me your wallet. <laughs> exactly. I need... Exactly. <laughs> And like you don't go to ATMs, you just ask ask for me to go to ATMs well, to take my I money. Why would I go me. if I can have you go? Exactly, just take my money. Okay, so, so I got my energy. I can play two cards. Play two cards. Um, I'm only playing one, and my card's slow. Okay, I'm not going to play this fast one right now, um, and I'm not going to play that fast one. What did I say I was going to play? I'm going to play these two. Okay, just throw them up there. Okay, that's fine. Don't lose. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Barrett. Yeah, so Barrett's played this twice, and he's never won. I'm sorry, never won. He's never lost. So he's he's batting a thousand for two plays. For two plays, he's he's a savant at this game. Obviously, yes. <laughs> thanks, Barrett. <laughs> yes, we will have to play this more, Barrett, when we meet up. I know it's not a campaign. I'm sorry. That's probably why he hasn't played it. It's not a campaign or a massive dungeon crawl. Speaking of which, I did get sword and sorcery. Uh, the Ancient Chronicles arrived today, so I'm really excited. I'll try to two bi giant boxes, and that's not that's only the small portion of it. Oh, yeah, okay. more of it's coming later. But yes, yeah, so we might try streaming that campaign for you guys. That's a fun okay, one. That'd be good. Okay, anyway, sorry, right. off track, off topic. So we did the growth. Um, you played the cards. Now we do the the fast powers. So if you have any fast yep. powers, you can resolve them. Yeah. So. Um... Can you crank up the difficulty on this game? Yes, you can. Absolutely, Kevin. There are so many levers to pull for this game. Um, you can play, what most people do is play with an adversary. And um, here, I found right next to me. Here's an example of an adversary card. Um, so basically, instead of having generic colonists, they now do all these effects. I won't go through them, but basically, you can choose the difficulty level of that specific adversary you want to play as. In addition to that, you can also play with scenarios. So there's a bunch of different scenarios. So here's a scenario, Powers Long Forgotten, and it has all sorts of, well, this one's a cool one. I like this one a lot. A lot of other ways of playing the game that way. Um, that's the main way of increasing difficulty. You could, I think that's the main way of doing it. You can also add the event cards, which we're playing with, and adjust some of the other settings a little bit. But mostly the adversaries are what people play with. So good, good question. All right, so I chose the two cards I'm playing. All right, I chose mine. Are any of your cards fast? No, they're no. not. Do you have any innate powers that are fast? You yes. Do. Did you trigger them? I you, did trigger it. You did. You triggered one of them. You may gather a beast, beast. in a spot that's not blighted. Okay. One, within one range of my presence. Yep. So, this one's not bad because if we get actually the event card we don't resolve so that won't matter right now but you could but is it, it gonna it's gonna do something when they're gonna build yeah uh no you gather not add oh i gather yeah not quite that that good sorry well well I know. now so the is this, thing is, is this gonna though is he gonna get rid of it or is it i'm attacking this guy no, he's moving it for the, <sighs> for the purpose so another question kevin has is most of that content part of the base game or from an expansion Yes, both. So <laughs> the base game has adversaries. It has lots of uh, spirits. It has basically everything you see here. Now, the cards, I have just a giant stack of powers, and I'll just show briefly here. You won't get this many powers, uh, for example. You'll have a lower number than that, and you won't have... You won't see either of these spirits. These are both expansion spirits. But the base game of how we're playing, you'll see in the in the game, so... Yeah, Ben agrees. 50-50. Yeah, so, yeah, about 50-50. Cool. Yep. Okay. Agreed, Ben. 
So I gathered the beast over there. Now, every time you move a beast, you can follow with it. Remember? With yeah, presence. but isn't that guy going to kill my presence? Not yet, but it's risky. You can do it if you want. I'm not, if, I'm risk averse. Mm, okay. <laughs> sure. I just want to understand why gathering the beast over there is beneficial. It's not right now, but you can do it. It's beneficial because of the um, uh, event cards. The event cards have the beast trigger and different stuff. Okay. So is the question is talking about the content that lets you adjust the difficulty? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's a great question. Yep. You guys, are, you guys are all on the board. Good yeah. job. Okay. Okay. Now what? Okay, so you play. So you're not. You're not. You just gather that beast nut by itself. Okay, now we do the bad effects. So the <gasps> no, I can damage that dude. How? Because I have. Oh, you do have three. I have three um, beast thingies. Yes, so you do. He's, he's now dead. Yeah, good job. Ah. Mm. El Dedo. <laughs> yes. Good job. Whoops. Bye, guy. <laughs> she just, <laughs> just threw him almost off the whole table. He bounced out of this bin. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing because he's not going to do anything in that spot. Which is well done. Now, I, I'm noticing a lot of your cards say target areas without blight. So I think we absolutely need blight removal so you can do more of your fun stuff. Yeah, so we have to keep getting powers because I don't have that yet. I don't have a blight removal. There was one option, but it wasn't the greatest blight removal. Okay, sorry. Okay. So you did that. Now we go on to next step. So then we do the uh, blighted island effects, which is nothing yet. Be or help, or we're still healthy. Yeah, no ravaging first round, they asked. Um, no, no rabbits the first round because, uh, the card hasn't moved, been pushed over to that spot yet. Yeah. So, and so, um, unfortunately it's a little bit off the screen. It's, you can kind of see it over here a little bit, but we have the explore deck, we have the build and then they ravage and then they, you discard that card. And so what happens is you flip over the first card to start the game and it just shows you where they explore and you immediately put in build. That's how the game starts. And then next, as the game goes on, We'll flip over a new card, and it will push the other cards down the, down the train. And so we won't have the Ravage until the second turn of the game. And that's when they'll start doing stuff. Um, but yes. Yeah. And Kevin has, says, from what Steve said, I would guess that the events are probably from an expansion, while the other two things are shown as part of the base game. You are exactly right, Kevin. The events are from an expansion. They're from the Branch and Claw and also Jagged Earth. They both have events in them. Now... I recommend when you play this game the first time, do not play with the events. It's a lot to take in. Uh, for me, though, when I started playing this game a lot, I think after my 12th play, I started getting into the feel of knowing the pacing of the game. I knew about when I was going to win the game. And the events were a way of breathing life into the island because the island feels more alive. And then also um, changing it up. So I, it was more of a surprise, more excitement in the game do through the events. Now, there's a big divide on if the events are good or bad in this game. Some people love them. I'm on that camp. Other people absolutely hate them. And you can honestly choose to play with or without them. The nice thing is in Jagged Earth, they gave you cards to help offset these tokens. Because these tokens, um, the beast tokens, the disease tokens, and some other ones I'll show you later, those are expansion to expansions as well. Um, I like them because it makes the island more alive. They're more fun to play with. And some of the spirits use them. Like, for example, Sharp Fangs here is all about beast tokens. Max. Oh, sorry. Max is all about beast sorry. tokens. Thank you. Yeah. And so it's a little bit harder to play him without the event deck. Uh, but there's ways of doing it with Jagged Earth. Yeah. Good, good questions. Um, so don't most of the events help you? That's a good question, Ben. Um, the events are mixed. So... Generally, in a single event card, there will be something that's bad and something that's good. And it, it so it tends to be somewhat balanced, but sometimes you'll just get an event card that the good thing's not really relevant and you just get a bunch of bad effects. Um, sometimes it could be really good. I've had an event card that basically won me the game. Or I drew it early in the game. It, it gave me a huge pacing bonus where I was able to outpace the colonists for the rest of the game. So I've had it go both ways. I think, in general, there's a, it's slightly more difficult with the events. So maybe a little bit harder in that regard, but generally they're about balanced. Good question, Ben. All right. Um, speaking of which, so we did th we did that. Uh, we would do the event event card now, which uh, we don't do it in the first turn of the game. We skip it for the first round. The rest of the rounds we'll do events. Then we do fear. 
We haven't generated any fear, so we don't have any fear cards. If you look in the, in the counter there, the counter of fear is currently zero. When that reaches eight, because it's four per player, they will gain a fear card. The fear card is always good. It's it's symbolizing us like scaring the village. It is or, or freaking yeah. out, and so they they'll do bad things and well, good things for us generally. And it, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's really fun how that works out. And if we generate more and more feared, we'll we'll get to a different terror level. Um, so as we get as we collect three fear cards, we'll boost up to another terror level, and then we'll go past that point. And the terror levels are important because they change the winning condition. Currently in terror level one, which we're in now, we have to get rid of everything on the board to call us. All the all the cities, all the towns, and all the explorers have to be gone. As we go up another terror level, then we just have to get rid of the towns and cities. And the level three is just cities. And if we get through the whole fear deck, we all make to win the game. Towns and explorers. No, we all make it win the game to get to the whole thing. No, but you said the second one was towns and cities, but it's towns and explorers, right? No, it's towns and cities. Oh. Yeah, you okay. drop off the explorers, then you drop off towns, then you, then you drop off cities at okay. the end. Okay. The win. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. So we don't do nothing happens there, and now we do the uh, invader phase, the rest of it. So they are going to resolve left. Oh, not yet. Left or right. First they build. So we look in all the sands, and they go build there. Hey, look. Oh, who who did something? Yep. Watch this, me not do anything lady. on my turn. Build a town here. Um, here they would try to build. So how that works is if there's no towns or cities, they will build a town. If there's already a town there, they'll build a city. And then they'll alternate building town first, then city, then town, then city. So basically, if there's an equal number of towns and cities, they'll build a town. Otherwise, they will build a city. Okay, so the town is going to go So the town goes there. Here they would build, but this disease token is special. It prevents a build. So no build there. And then the town gets built over here. Yeah, Ben. Right. <laughs> so, okay. And that is it for the build. Then we do explore. Okay. Now, flippity flip. <coughs> now they're going to explore into mountains. Yep. What are you doing with the... This was upside down. <laughs> I didn't know which way it went because <laughs> the S can go either way. That's fair. It's fair. And so now they're going to explore into the mountains. And then you can push all those cards down. So what we, what we do is we look at... Um, all the mountain spots, and then we look and see if there's a spot adjacent to it or a mountain itself that has a building of some kind, so either town or city, or the shoreline, because ships are coming to shore, they will explore there. So, yes. for example, this one, it has, a ten, it has both next to it. This one's got a town next to it, so it will explore there. They are just expanding. They're expanding. And generally that's true. They will o almost always explore like that in the early game. Hopefully we'll start stifling them soon. Do something, Steve. Well, now it's slow phase. Now we can do our slow cards. And so what that means is if you look at the cards up in the corner here, if it's blue or if it has a speed here with a turtle, it's slow. Other cards will be red with a bird down here that's fast. And it basically tells you what phase you are able to play them in. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing my um, Softly Beckon Ever Inward. So I get to gather two explorers, two towns, two uh, beasts, and two um, Dahan. Dahan are the local villagers, and they are very good for us. They will help attack with us. So I'm going to gather a bunch of stuff in that spot. Um, up a mountain on Kim's side wouldn't get an explorer. This one? It would, yeah, because there's a town, town up there. Yep. Yep. Good Good question, Ben. Um, and maybe, maybe it's a little hard to see on the stream. But yeah, as long as there's a building of some kind. Let's see, I can probably zoom in real quick here. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, there you go. So you can see that this up here... There's a town, so we'll explore from that spot. Good, good question. All right. Okay, so where are you gathering? So I can gather, I'm definitely gonna gather these, these Dahan into that spot. <laughs> no problem then, no problem. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the help, because I, I will guarantee make mistakes. Um, I'm definitely gonna gather these two guys into here. And this guy to here. Um, actually, yeah, let's go to this guy to here as well. This one, I'm just going to let go. It's going to ravage. I'm just, what's going to happen? Okay. Okay. I'm going to play Teeth Gleam from Darkness. Ooh, I can gather this into here. Let's do that. Okay. Um, I can do one fear and add a beast token, or if my target land has both a beast token and invaders, I can get three fear. Hmm, but only one away from jungle. Yes, and you have to have presence in that jungle. 
Yeah, so really it'd be like here. Yep. But if I if I pick this place, I can get three fear. Three fear. I'm gonna do that. You can get three fear? Three fear. Three fear. And then my other slow card is one more fear and destroy a dude. I'm going to destroy this dude. Um do you want to destroy this dude instead? I don't know what your plan is. But oh, if you destroy that mountains. guy. Yeah, mountains. Yeah, he won't do yep. anything in the mountains. Blow him up. Blow him up, okay. <laughs> also, when you destroy stuff, if it's a town or city, you'll get fear for doing that. Bonus fear, which is pretty nice. Yeah. But explorers, you don't get extra fear for that. That is my slow powers. I have innate slows, but I did not trigger any of those. I'm just being kind of boring. No, I didn't trigger mine. Okay. I thought I was just going <laughs> to... Eventually, yeah. eventually. So now time passes, things will heal, there's general cleanup, and we'll go to the next next round. Okay. So choose your growth options. So are you okay. okay? Do you need help? I'm not sure if I can help you, but I'm just asking. That's very... Is that Caleb? No. No? Okay. Sorry, mom ears went off. Um, mom ears. <laughs> that's very nice of you to consider, but I'm I'm okay for now. Okay. I'm going to let this thing blight because I don't know what to do about that spot. <clears throat> so gather moves pieces towards where your um, influence is, right? Yes. There are some keywords in the game, and we can mention that real quick. Um, do I have the card in front of me? I might. No, I don't. Um, yes. Gather is you choose a location, and I can show my card I, I played. So I have to choose a, a range zero from my, from my um, presence. So it has to be in the spot with my presence. It has to be inland, which is not adjacent to the water. And I gather, which means I pick that spot and everything adjacent to it, I can pull to it. The opposite of that is push. I choose one spot and I can take everything in there and push it to adjacent spots. It could be all one spot, all different spots, whatever you need to. So that's what gather does. Good question. Also, when you play a card, it's discarded. And then you have to do a, what's called a reclaim action to get that card back into your hand and mm -hmm. play it again. But at the beginning of the game, you have all your cards available to you. I am going to do my first one. I'm going to add a presence here. Oh, to a jungle or land with beast. I cannot add it there. Well, you're trying to... Oh. Did I cheat? Was I not allowed to add it there? No, this beast there. Add a presence to jungle or land with beast. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, there last time. So, I, was good. so I can't, but I can't put it there. That's what I was thinking. Correct. Can't put it there. Let me rethink this. Yep. Um... And so the, the tracks on the card is the first track you gain energy, and you need energy to play for cards because the top corner of the cards is how much it costs to play them. The bomb track tells you how many cards you can play from, from your hand. Um, and so the more cards you can play from your hand, the more of these symbols you get that you can trigger your special abilities. So you kind of may want to balance them, not sure. I definitely need to put a presence here. So I can trigger my ability because what I want to do is I want to play this card and here it says range zero, but it has to be a shrine. A shrine is any location with at least two presents in it. So I will be able to do my defend 10 there, which would be epic. So I need to play that card. Does it make sense for me to put anything over here where you are? Um, I'm not able to do with that spot or that spot right now. Well, neither am I. I'm going to put this here. <laughs> neither am I. Okay. <laughs> Just... Sorry. You're done. <laughs> yeah. No, not doing it. Um, okay. And then my second growth that I can pick from will be... Uh, just gain another energy and another That's power. That's a lot. Minor power. One, two, three. Going to look for these blight cards. Okay. I think I'm going to try to play these two cards. Yeah. I'm going to be playing these two cards on my turn. So I'll explain them for me. Oh, I can't. As awesome as this last part is, I don't think I can do that effectively. Um, I do like the icons on it, though. This one's nice, but it requires requires a, a, a Dahan in that spot. Uh, wicked lag all of a sudden. Oh, sorry about that. Can you check it? Yeah, thanks for letting me know, guys. Um, let me check my data here. 
Let's see. I'm trying to think what other cards I want to play. I'm not seeing any red flags on my end. I'm not sure what that is. But let me know if you see it happen again. Okay. Defend five. Yeah, I was adjusting the settings on streaming, um, trying to get it to, to stream faster, so I might have to change the settings back to what it was before. Um, I can also have you p repeat powers as well. That's not bad. Yeah, you have to pay for it, though. Meh. Gather a beast. This is pretty amazing. Do some major damage there. But I think what I'll do, I think I have to get, let's get the Cult to Tend, um, just so I get some, some Blight removal going. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with my stuff. I will be playing my two cards, like I said before. Um, and are you good to go? No. Let's <laughs> think what I can do. Um, nowhere that I have presence is going to attack me right now, right? So if I put a defend down, it doesn't do me anything. You are correct. There's no ravage I'm going to hit you yet. Okay, so that doesn't help. I could... Well. Well. I'm gonna. Well, he's still gonna build this turn. I could push, though. I'll do that. Okay. And so the interesting thing about this game is you tend to focus on your island spot to start, and then as the game goes on, you'll you'll uh, expand out more and be able to help each other. Um. What are you guys saying? They're just talking about the... It's all blurry for some reason. My quality dropped down to 144. You're on mobile 2 on PC. I changed it back to auto. Yeah, they're just chit-chatting. Ch ch mm -hmm. Yeah, um, never mind. It went blurry, but it just hung for about 30 seconds. Wow. That's a long time. I don't know. We have Spectrum. Time Warner. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll we'll look into that, guys. Um, I'll have to rewatch the the feed and uh, see if I can figure out what's going on with that. But yeah, let me know. Okay. Okay. So I'm playing cards. I don't know if they're the right cards to play, but it's happening. Okay. So we played our cards. Now into fast. Do you have any fast powers? I do. I do. I can gather a beast token. Um. Which means don't... you can move as well. Now, event card is yeah. happening this time, so the beast may trigger, they may not. We don't know. Which, actually, that might change my thought process here, because um, if I gathered to this location, yep. I have this <laughs> card that is a fast defend, yep. so I would have defense in place ready for that. Right? Yeah. Yep. I'm going I'm to do that. I didn't think about that. All right. All right. Fixing, so my presence can move with it. I'm scared of that spot. Do you want to move this presence instead? Why is he not? He's gonna kill me. Um, not yet. He might later, though. Going to later. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, again, risk adverse. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> the the thing is, if the beast attack, he can potentially kill that guy before he does anything. Depending on what the event does, I don't know. Oh. That's why I'm saying move this guy because he's not doing anything, but also I don't think you could do anything against that city right now anyway. I can't. Yeah, I'll, so. I'll play that. Because if needed, I can get my cards back and get my defend card back. Sure. Okay. So you can do that. I'm going to play this awesome fast card, defend 10. And so what I'll do is I'll put a reminder token here as I am defending 10 in that spot. Okay, and then I do have a fast now. So this is a defend 5. And I get a fear. Sweet. Do you five fear? Okay. I don't have enough moons. All right. So you are good for fast. Did you trigger innate innates? You did. Did you? Yes, you did trigger innate. You can gather. Which was this? Oh, you already gathered. I gathered. That's okay. how I got okay, okay. over there to play this card. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Sorry. Catching up. You good? 
Yes. So we do the blight effect, which is nothing. We'll do the event. And then we do fear. Here's the first event card of the game. Eager Explorers. So what this means is we look at the terror level we're at. We're at terror level one, so we do the top section. On each board, after the first successful build action, add Explorer to an adjacent land without invaders. That's annoying. Yes, it is. Okay. And then we do this ability on here, the beast, chase off homesteaders. On each board, push up to two explorers or one town from a land with beasts. Uh, which... Which I could push this guy out and he won't build. Yes, you can do that one I'm for sure. push him... Should I just push him to this wetland um it's generally good to pile them in if you can push them here it's safe because you have it all defended okay um what are you thinking i think i have to push them i don't want to why do you have to because it doesn't say may and it has to be each board so it has to be this On other each board. board oh yeah you have to which is unfortunate because i was going to destroy all these guys right here uh why, why are playing it's events just, it's just one well, well because you <laughs> steve that's fine just it's just just one guy right it's not like the end of the world no yeah i'll focus i'll push these two guys wait two or one it's two guys or one town i rarely destroy oh, the towns okay. i think okay yeah um, push him in the jungle i can push one yeah I can push him in the jungle sure okay and then the last part says, at their gates demanding redress, two fear per land with a Dahan and a city. That's what it is, which is, you have one. So you get two fear. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Seven fear, one more, we get a fear card. Speaking of which, now we resolve a fear card, which we don't have any yet, but that's okay. And then we do the bad stuff. So first thing is, they're going to ravage in the sands. The sands. Which, one, two, three, four, but defended five. Yep. Safe. So how it works is the explorers do one damage, the towns do two damage, and the cities do three damage. And then if they do, they do damage to the Dahan and the land equally. And so if you do defend, you basically cancel out that damage. And if they do at least two damage to a, a land, they will also blight it. Speaking of which, like here, I've got three plus one's four. There's nothing doing stopping it, so we're going to add a blight there. As well, so good, good news. I'm helping by blighting the land. Oh wait, I guess I have to come down. Sorry, my way. So, okay, blight and is then, bad. <clears throat> that's it for those areas. Then uh, mountains are going to build. Correct. But I again was productive. You're doing really good. I'm not doing as good. And then we have to add an explorer to an adjacent spot without invaders. It said. Yes, without invaders. Just the spot that built, like adjacent to that adjacent spot? Adjacent to that spot, yep. Which would have to be five or seven. I'll put about seven, personally. Okay, yeah, the Dahan would knack it out. Okay. And that then... is it. Now we explore. Yep. Jungles, which looks like it's going to be all the jungles. Yep. One here, one there. Okay. That's right. Ben recognizes. Ben recognizes your awesome playing. This is just me. Yeah, this looks good. <laughs> oh, I'm right. dumb. Why did defend 10 there? I was focusing on the questions, and I didn't realize they're not even ravaging here. Then It was dumb for me to do that whole move. <laughs> yes. There's nothing going on in the wetlands. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. No, you don't have to apologize to them. You need to apologize to me. Because, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that was really, really that dumb. Was, um, Epically bad? I didn't catch it either. That was really bad. It's okay. Okay, it waste, I feel really embarrassed. It was a waste of a turn. Yeah, it was. It really was. <laughs> um, I can remedy that a little bit. I still want to make a kill zone, so. Okay, yeah. Okay, now we have slow powers. We're just preparing. I'm preparing. All right, so I can do three damage to towns and explorers in an area, which... Um, with a city. With it's a... only in this spot. That's a city? That's a... 
Oh, shh. I didn't read that right. Yeah, so that doesn't do anything. Or at a strife, you got a strife too. Okay, but yeah, at a strife, which is really good. Yeah, which is really yeah. good. That's a so a strife is a new uh, token effect. It's a blue token. <laughs> Just give me crap. No, he's accepting your apology. <laughs> okay, thank you for accepting my apology. Yes, Kim is totally MVP. Yeah. Um, um, strife. So this is a, a, a punch. Fist. Yeah, let me show him what it looks like real quick. Yeah. So here's the strife token. Um, you put it on an actual invader. So we'll put it on the city because that's the only choice you have. Yes. Well, I'll put it on these, I guess. And what it means is when that would ravage, it does ravage. AKA when it does damage, yeah. it does not so, really do. So, I mean, I intentionally put that card there. We it, were, it we were just well. focusing on the wetland areas for this round. Yes. And we don't need to. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. That was... Uh, whoops. Okay. Anyway. It's all right. We're prepared anyway. for the wetlands. Let me do this. Pairs of the deepest... Island in island here. Um, I had one fear, so let's go ahead and do that. Boom! All right, We're at eight. That's our first fear card. We set that back to zero. So that's awesome. And then add a badlands to that location. So I'm going to add it here. This is just going to be destroy everything. And then I can add a beast token to a location within one range. Um, might spread these out a little bit. Need one of those like rotating thinking yeah. circles. Do, 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 do. Right I'll here. push over here. <laughs> no, it has to be more than one. I'll put it over here. Because it's hard for me to get over there. And I can push up to two. Oh, I can't, I can't see what I'm doing. And I can push up to two Dahan away. I'm tempted to push this Dahan up here. Um, just so I can get rid of the blight, but. Isn't it going to. It's oh, it's not a rush right now. Well, I mean, I I'll, I'll leave the, I'll leave the Dahan there for now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That is it for me. We're done with the slow powers. Oh wait, I have another innate. I do have an innate ability because I had generated, um, I generated a replacement. I could replace an explorer with another explorer, and then I can gather it. So. Oh, Push let me put this over here. Jungle. Let me put this over here. I'll choose this guy, and I can pull him into here. Boom. Okay. That's much better. Yeah, because Ben was thinking you could push... Push the, the haunt to the jungle? To, to the jungle. That's not a bad idea. To prevent that. But what you did kind of just does the same thing. Uh, right? Yeah, I think, I'm thinking with you, Ben. I'm thinking with you, Ben. That's a good idea. Let's push over there. Yeah. Good call. Because they're going to build, and I can use the Dahan to help clear them out a little bit. Okay. All right, that's enough for our slow powers. We will go on to our next, next round. Growth. Growth. I am going to do my first one. So reclaim cards, and all my cards are... So they're ravaging in the mountains. So they're going to ravage up here, which I have nothing... I can... Yep. Can Is... you do anything up here? Uh, I don't know yet. Is I have a, que <laughs> okay. I have a question. I'll get to you in okay. a moment. Okay. Okay. Just be patient. Um, this negative one cost on here is oh. that for each card no it's just you choose that a growth you have to pay an energy yes oh. it's nasty but i needed my cards back you know you have to pay an energy to get them back yeah that's the bad thing about sharp fangs but well i'm gonna gain a power okay and then i'm gonna gain three energy okay i I think I know what I'm going to do here. I am going to rec recall my cards. So I gain an energy for that. I don't put presence down on the downside to that. Um, and I think I'm going to get a power. I don't think I'm going to gain a power yet. Okay, I have yes. a question. I'm, yes. I'm question? choosing between um, these two cards. I can, can put either... them on the screen for everyone. Yeah. Here's your two cards you're looking at. Um. Wow, this camera is just all out of whack right now. I don't like the colors of it at well, all. You'll be okay. No, I'm gonna fix it. No. So the cards are um, gaining to fear, and if there are invaders. 
that are destroyed in the target land, I get an extra fear, or I can add a beast token. Sorry, I can't read when you're doing that. Uh, if the target land has a beast token, I can push two invaders. I think that beast one is probably more apt to my guy. Or should I just do the fear one and we just scare the pants off? Everybody? I like this beast one quite a bit. Um, it's But the problem is it's no blight. So. What, you are expecting us to get blight everywhere on the board? Well, how I'm playing, maybe. But yeah, this one's really good for you. Yeah, I would that's definitely what I was thinking. One. Okay. So. Okay, right, so I am... Yeah, Ben, that's a good, good uh, note. They are all very different. Changes the way you have to play, for There's sure. There's a rough growth option on the Crabble Things. Yeah. That's a, I love this game, how the spirits are all so different. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to gain the energy, and I'm going to gain a icon. They're going to build. build. So I want to... Yep. yep. Gain the package tomorrow. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I kind of wish this was fast. Two more energy. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this gather again. I have to defend. Um, what counts as sacred sites for Max? It, sacred sites is always two, um, two presents in a location. Always. For every spirit. Um, there are some spirits that have special rules, so you can actually... Um, tr like, I think there is... Oh, River. River has the ability that they can have a single presence in a wetland, and it counts as a sacred site. But generally, you always need two presents to count counted. So what I think we're gonna do is I think we're gonna try to do some cleanup. Oh. I'm gonna try to clean up uh, some blight, which is I can't reach. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do this card again because this card is amazing. I'm trying to gather as much as I can in that spot to just kill everything. Um. Ooh, this is not bad either. I might just play these two cards. So I, this one will let me... Ah, oh, I'm at range zero. I can't do a range zero. Oh, wait. No, that one doesn't make sense. They're not... I'm not in that area. But that one makes sense. Well, whatever. I'll remove the blight in my spot. So. Um, and I need to choose a different... Yes. I'm going to definitely choose an a element. I'm going to choose a, a moon element for this turn. Um, and what I can do that because of my power I chose, and that's going to uh, contribute to my elements over here. The reason why I want to do that is because I want to have two moons and a, and a wind, because that will trigger my innate power, so that I can replace replace a town potentially with two explorers and pull them into a zone for destruction. That's what I'm trying to do here. All right, let me pay the cost of all my cards, and I am good to go. Should I push this guy up? Getting them off, if it's fast, it's a good idea to do it. Because if you get guys off these locations that are going to build the stuff, you're basically denying them actions. Because yeah. like here, there's nothing here. It's not going to build or ravage in that spot because it's empty. So that's generally a very good strategy to employ. Is your camera fuzzy? Okay. Green screen issue. Oh, oh. Okay, I know that I know what that is. It yeah. is fuzzy. I know exactly what's going on. That's what happened. I was trying to fix things in the middle of play, and I screwed it up. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> so so sorry. So let me throw a card up here so I can get rid of that fuzziness, um, real quick. Yeah, it's definitely the green screen going on. Let me clean that up real quick. Oops. Were you answering um, what counts as sacred sites for Max? My yes. Dad? Okay, good, because again, I'm not paying attention. Yes, I did. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do good work this turn, Steve. I'm just telling you now. Is it better? Are you fixing it? Yeah. So that should look better, guys. Um, let me know if it if it's still an issue. I've just noticed how precarious that laptop is on the table. It's fine. It's a small table. I'm it's hanging one. off the edge. Uh, it's, okay. it's okay. What's the worst this that can is, happen? Just want to hit the table's guard. Oh, gosh. A new, Steve wants a new computer. 
It's an accident. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so I have... You got fast powers? I have nothing. I'm all, I do. I'm I, have, I have fast powers, and I have my innate ability, um, and I can move things. But I'm going to gather a beast to here. Okay. And if... Oh, no, that's wrong. Shit. I mean, shoot. You can gather a beast from here. Yeah, I'll just do it the other way. Okay. Gather beast to here. Okay. And so that location... Well, what... Should I leave it there so that the beast can attack the guys? They Maybe? may not attack the guys. Okay. Depends on what the event card is. We don't know. Well, okay. So gather there. So that guy's not going to build this turn. Oh, nice. Um, you can put a reminder token on the board. That's not really a good idea. Reminder tokens um, are the flip side of this, so we don't forget. Yeah, I'll help you out. Okay. <sighs> Shoot, my plan kind of failed. Oh, wait. It's, it got mm. perfect, but now it has mild background static. Okay, you you, edges. you fix that. I'm gonna redo my strategy okay. here. Hold on. Thanks for this. Yeah, I'm glad you like the setup. I um I was screwing up with the settings and I uh, I still see it. Yeah, you talk. So I'll talk while I while I try to adjust that a little bit. Um, I know exactly what's going on. It's just I was messing with the green screen earlier. And I should not have. I should know better. Don't fix what's what's fine. Um. Okay. I have to rethink the strategy. I can add a token there. Oh, it's kind of dirty, too. I bet that's what part of the problem is. And gather there, and they don't. Okay, so that list should be build. fairly good. You see through the cards a little bit. <laughs> Let me fix that. It's a balancing, it's a balance. Gather a beast there. I'll keep thinking. Okay. Uh, Hopefully I... that's okay for you guys. If it's not, let me know. I'll try again. Apologize for trying to fix, fix things on the fly here. Okay. I didn't play this right, Steven. I'm glad it's better, guys. I kind of want to change my cards, but it's a little late. What did you, what'd you screw up? Well, I was thinking I could... Um, prevent building in both those juggle locations. Yeah. But I can't. Yeah. So if I change my cards, I could. But I've already selected my cards. Uh, it doesn't change anything if you want to flip them around. It's not a huge deal it right now. It doesn't. I mean, we haven't revealed any new information. So I'm okay with you flipping a card. Okay. So, so take that away because I'm not doing anything with okay. that. Okay. Um. Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this True. game. A lot True. going on. Do your turn first. Did you already do your turn? I have no fast powers. This is all you. Oh, no. <laughs> I am so all sorry. All eyeballs on you. We're seeing you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Some smoke coming out of the ears. I'm trying to figure this out. This is a very oh, tricky okay, game. Okay, wait. Can I do all these that are triggered and it's yes. like yes. using? Okay. Yes. Okay, this might still work. So Maybe. you can gather. It has to be one location, though. So you pick one location to trigger all of them. To do all three in the same location. Yeah, so, it has but to do all... I have to? And do I have to do them in order? No, you can do any order you want. So Kim's asking. Her question is: She has a native ability that says, "Target a land without blight, one away from your stuff." And then here you can gather a beast, and you can push up to two beasts. You can do that any order you want. You can gather first and then push them two out. Push two out and gather one back in. Doesn't matter what you do, but it has to be that one land. I can't gather over here and then push over here. It has to be that one spot. So that makes sense. Okay. I am I am changing things. So. Okay. 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 All right. <laughs> they do have approval from other people too. Yeah. So I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to choose this spot here. Okay. I am going to gather here okay i'm doing this thing yep and then i have one two and one two three so mm -hmm. this triggers i get one damage per mm, that still doesn't help me 
Wait. If you can do that, you can do it over here and get rid of that guy. That's yeah. A better choice. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Ah, oh, but that. I can't hey, do it. I can't do it. You can't make worse mistakes than I did earlier with just like defending a lot land that did nothing, so <laughs> that's right. I think I have to take I have to de protect myself from this. So <laughs> shit, shoot, shoot. I'm going back to my original plan. Oh, I yeah, apologize. Okay. Original plan. So I'm doing this. I'm gonna gather this guy to here. Um <laughs> Now I, I lost that. I can push up to two. I'm not going to do that part. Okay, so now I'm just in my fast powers. Um, I'm going to add a beast to there. And if target land has a beast, nope, that doesn't happen. Um, it's so, one or the other. Yes, just making sure I did the right thing. And then on this card, I can gather a beast. And if the beast, um, if the target land has a beast token already, the invaders don't build this turn. So oh. if I gather this one, okay. now they're not going to build. And you can put your reminder token so we know it's not going to build there. That's good. That thing? Yep. Okay. But that area I, I didn't do anything with. That's fine. All right. So that's your fast powers. We're done with that. Let's mm -hmm. do the uh, Blighted Island effect, which is nothing. We'll do the event and then fear. So here's our event card for the turn. Yep. Hi, Dan. Here we go. Um, this... Now we do the top part, which is healthy land because we're currently healthy. The struggles for growth, a painful crux point. Each spirit chooses. Trade, reach for deeper nature. Destroy two of your presents, gain a power card. Leave behind what restrains you. Forget a power card, gain two energy, move up to two of your blight up to four away. So we either... So you have to destroy two of your presents, gain a power card, or forget a power card and gain two energy I think and I'm... move your presence around. I think I'm <clears> going <throat> to get rid of a power card. I am going to forget a power card as well. Um, that, I don't like it. That stinks. <laughs> I don't like it at all. But I'll get rid of one of these. Forget it. So then I'm going to gain two energy for that. And forgetting is out of the game. That's how it works. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's tough. It's, it's generally a good idea to get the cards you drafted out. I ch actually chose to forget one of the cards I did not drafted, which is this one. It's a great card, lots of symbols on it, but this ability... Um, like not your like not my original four. Not, not my plan, I guess. Is that what you're saying? Generally is, yeah. But I got rid of my original four just because I'm crazy. So. But I, I like that. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Irregular outbreaks. Ignore one d uh, disease during build. This invader phase. One fear per board with disease on it, which is just your board has a fear on it. So we'll gain uh one fear for that. And then careful defense. When invaders ravage, if the land has Dahan, defend two. Oh, that's not bad. That is pretty amazing, actually. I totally saved my bacon. Because look up here. This has Dahan there. It's going to defend two up there. They only do three damage, which is going to stop it from blighting, and they're going to attack back and kill everything. I got so lucky on that card. <laughs> Holy cow. Cool. So I'm getting rid of this one. Okay. Just because it's only good where cities are. Yep. Okay. And what do I get? <clears throat> Two energy. Good, because it costs me energy to get my cards back. Okay, and then we do fear card. So grab the fear card over there and see what it is. So we're on terror level one, so we do the top part. Tread carefully. Each player may choose a land with Dahan or adjacent to at least five Dahan. Invaders do not ravage there this turn. Um awesome. But there are no spot. No, we want them to ravage. Because they're, they're all going to die. Let's not choose anything. Okay. Yeah. So they're not going to. That was a flop of a, a fear card, unfortunately. But that's okay. So you want them to ravage to the Dahan? I do. Them. Because Dahan there um, have de defended t by two. Oh, because that other card. Correct. The event. And so okay. you know, one damage is happening, and they're going to attack back with four. They're going to kill everyone. Okay, cool. So yeah. I'm glad you're paying attention. Speaking of which, it is time to do the bitch stuff. So, um, Ravage, Ravage. 
Ravage. So defend two, so one damage goes through. One of these guys technically gets damage. The land takes one damage. A land taking one damage does nothing. If the land takes two damage, it gets blighted. And then because the, there was a Ravage event there, the Han will fight back. The Han, had, the Han have two health, so they attack back with two. They are going to attack back with four total attack against two, one, three, three health. So and, they're both dead. And the only way this works is because of the event card that was drawn exactly. just previously. Exactly. Because I know Dan's asked some question about that. He's like, well, wouldn't somebody die normally? Yes. That's correct. And because a town was destroyed, we get a fear for that. So we're at two fear now. Okay. So. Oh, two fear. I missed one. Yeah, I missed one earlier. Okay, so that was it for the Ravage. We go into the build. Um, okay. Looks like they're going to build a town here. And they're not building there. So I'll take my reminder. Up. They're going to build a town, town there, there, looks like. Yep. Okay. And then they're going to explore in the sands. There is an icon on that card. It only matters when you're playing with invaders. They have an escalation effect. So um, they are going to explore here and here. And all in my spot. And yes, both your spots get explored as well. Okay. So you want me to move this down? Yep. Okay. Now we do our slow powers. <clears throat> I don't have any. I do. I'm going to choose this one. You choose a spot with Dahan in it, and I get to remove a blight. So I'm going to choose this one to get rid of this blight. You can put it back on the card. Which is great because now our blight number goes back up to four. Very cool. A little buffer there. And then the other thing I'm going to do is this one. Hey, everyone come here. Is this, you're, you want to do it now in the right spot? Yeah. Okay, good. Oh. Not a throwaway turn again? No. Okay, good. Just uh, checking. I just have to make sure. Gather this guy into here. Gather this guy into here. Um, can I do, oh. No, I can't gather the city yet. And then because I have the symbols I need, I can actually take this town, gather into this spot, and it gets replaced by two explorers. So they basically leave their town and come to that spot. Um, <clears throat> okay. And I can also gather, do I gather, do you want me to move that Dahana out of there? Where, what, huh? You want to move this to the Han out of there? No, I'm going to put a presence there, and I can defend that spot. Oh, so the Dahan can help attack with you. Yes. Then? Okay, I'll leave the leave them there. Um. Good. Good. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of any slow powers. Nope, that's it. That's all I got. All right, I'm going to add a presence here. It's your slow effect. Nope, I'm just way steps ahead of you. Okay, so then time passes, this and heals, and then we do our growth effect. Okay, so that's my growth effect. effect. That's fine. So adding a presence there and my other one. Um, so you got that covered, huh? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, okay. I'm going to take a power. Power. And that gives me one energy. Bum, bum, bum. I like this card. I think I have to play this card. One damage per um, token in a spot, which is pretty awesome. And in the middle there, I've got a bunch of tokens already there, so I can start destroying that stuff, which is a pretty good idea, I think, right now. Um, I don't need to defend... Um, gonna pick up some if i get if i get this mm. like an animal token that's Ooh, a, i should get this cool, but I don't care. we need this don't we you need this what is this well voracious growth two damage or remove a blight Ooh, yeah that's not bad. I, I saw this one first but it's only in wetlands and jungles which we currently don't have any in those locations oh i didn't notice that part yeah this is my second choice then uh, poison Dew to draft. Destroy a explorer. If the land is a jungle or wetland, destroy all explorers. It's not bad. It's slow. You, if the icons are good, I, it could be good, but I wouldn't as worry, worry too much about that. I'm not as impressed by it. Sorry, Sorry. bursting bubble. <laughs> bursting my bubble. Okay. Uh, hey, Dan. Doesn't look like I'm too late. No, you're good here. You guys are doing some fancy beast stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. No. Um, that Those are and old won't, checks. Oh, one? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so behind. You are. We are the good news is, I do it. have a monitor coming tomorrow, which will help me keep up with the chat more frequently. Yep. So, because right you. now I'm having to switch screens all the time, so I apologize. Okay, so none of these. 
<laughs> tickle your fancy. Mm-mm. Nope. There's not. That was weird. Well, I'm... I'm going to take a minor power. I'm just going to take the two damage card. Still with the blight, just in case it happens. So I can draft some stuff. Destroy a explorer fast. Ooh, Ooh. but this is better. That's cool. And in the spot, that's not bad. Spot with blight, one fear per type of invader presence. Push stuff around. That's okay. Nope. Don't care about that with the blight. Um, defend in a spot. You're defending. I'm not worried about that one. I kind of like okay. the defense. Defend five. And then not particularly useful for the symbols, but it's something. So when you do get a a power card, if you take a minor power, you don't have to forget anything. If you take a major power, you have to forget a, a card. So I'm so happy to hear that you think this is fun to watch. Thank you, Ben. We'll try to you. try to make this fun. So um, it is harder to do a real game on the on the screen um, to make the setup work, but I like playing with real games. It's a little more fun than tabletop sim. Tabletop sim is probably easier to follow, but it's fine. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking about doing. I think I want to destroy stuff because that's what we do in this game, right? I'm going to be playing these two guys. Um, I'm not going to trigger my innate abilities, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to try to add more tokens and then use all those tokens to destroy a bunch of stuff. That's what it comes down to it. I'm just keep loading up. Um, the bad news is... We're going to have a Blight Cascade. I get two coins. I I'm sorry. Think I can... So, why? Where can I help you? Here is going to have Blight Cascade. What it means with a Blight Cascade is anytime you're going to add a Blight to a land, and there's already a Blight there, you add that Blight and you add a second Blight to adjacent spots. It's kind of like uh, Pandemic. If you play Pandemic where you have an outbreak, and adjacent spot could have another outbreak and chains, that's exactly what's happening here. Because I'm going to have to have Blight here because I can't... Oh, no, they're building. They're not doing anything yet. This will most likely Blight on the next turn and have a Blight Cascade. So we might need I might need your help there. I can't do much against inland lands. That's my restriction. Coastal lands. Coastal lands, sorry, yes. Um. So, okay, yeah, but that's going to be a problem very soon. <clears throat> so don't worry about it now. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, can't help. Just, just keep putting. I'm thinking. Keep adding you guys coming out here more. It's, it'll be helpful. I did not add my. Thinking. Presence of the um, board. You did not? Where did you put it? I meant to take this one off the board and I could put any four away in an inland spot. Do you mean you head towards your, your stuff? Do you need, do you need my help? Um, if this is the all, only guy that's left, would that kill my presence? No. Okay, good. I'm fine. I will put it over here. So I'll maybe be able to do some stuff over there if I need to. Okay. Um, must be the same spot. Is this present gonna die or is he saving? Um, how much are you defending there? I could well, I could save five, but then this guy would die. Hmm. Or this guy would die. What are you defending in this spot? I can defend. I can defend five there, or I can defend five there. Yes, you need to defend. You need to defend in both spots. Um, I don't have a. If I recon what I did, I could play my cards differently and then help protect you. No, I think my guy's just gonna die. Are you sure? Because that seems like a bad idea. It does. But what were you doing that is so great? I was going to kill a bunch of stuff, but maybe I won't. Maybe instead I will put my presence here so I can save save you. And then that means I have to play my cards a little bit differently than I was planning, which is okay. 
It's okay. I will kill stuff later. It's, it's fine. Okay. If you're sure, it's fine. <clears throat> I'd rather have you not lose presence and not have that blight. Honestly, the blight is what I'm more worried about. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I can't do that. I'm screwed, is what you're saying? Because that defend is, I need to have a shrine there. I don't have a shrine. You don't? All right, well, do what you're doing. I can move my guy out. Oh, you can run away. Which leaves me screwed elsewhere. I'm going to lose a presence no matter what, Steve. Can you fast speed add a beast there? Right here? Correct. Yes. Okay, we're good. But I won't defend there. That's fine. You don't have to. You'll be safe. You just have to have a beast there. But you realize that I'm going to have to deal with these other locations. That's fine. As long as you can add a beast there. Okay. As long as you put a beast there, we're good. But I'm using my fast power to do that. That's fine. Is that going to screw up your other stuff you need to do? I was going to kill that town. Can you kill a town without that? Cause, no, because I have to use the same location for this, right? Do you have another way of gathering or moving beasts or adding beasts? Yes, I can. Well, it's slow. What about this one? You have three moons? You don't have three moons. I don't have three moons. Why would I need three moons? So you can do the bound part. Add. Oh, no. It is what it is. I don't want to tell you. It is what it is. Are okay. you sure? Because... You said you can't help me. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose one. I can totally play my cards differently. Okay. How about instead of doing... What I was going to do, I'll do something completely different just to save you. I'll put my presence here, and then I'll save you. I'll, do, I'll take care of it all. you save me in all three locations. No, just this one. You can, you can take care of the rest. Do, do what you're doing for the other two. I'll save this one for you. Okay. 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 Yeah. Then I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good husband. All right. So I'm... Um, I'm, oh, I'm do, sorry about that discussion, guys. Sorry. I'm going to do fast <laughs> stuff. So... Um, I'm doing fast stuff, too. <gasps> fast. Have you guys played the Spirit Shifting Memory of Ages? I have been. That is an amazing one. It's so much fun. It's fun because you gain all these power cards... And you don't have to forget stuff, and you can get tons of power cards, and you gain a bunch of these um, um, element tokens as well. So you can like give these to other people to power their powers. Oh, it's awesome! It's a great, great spirit. Big yeah. fan. Okay, so Steve. Yes. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. My fast innate powers. I'm gonna do one damage per beast in this location. So okay. I'm killing a town. <gasps> Fear. Boom. Okay. And. Then, this other fast one, I'm going to defend over here. Five, okay. Defend five, yes. So Perfect. I won't lose my presence. I probably should defend one instead. No, that's no. not defend. There we go. There we go. Defend. Okay. And, um... That's pretty good for fast. Oh, I get a fear for that card. Another fear. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to do steam vents popping up, apparently. As we range zero of me, this is fast. So I'm gonna get destroy a um, explorer. So destroy one of these, and then I'm gonna play this other one, which is also fast. It's gonna give us two fear, boom boom, and then one damage per token in that spot. So because I have one beast there, I get to do one damage, it's two three. So what it blink 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 blink. On each board with a town or city ravaged there. Could we claim this one, but he doesn't because of the strife? It has to be. You could. You could. Um, you could also do it here, which it's already defended. It's it's going to destroy itself. So this is the obvious choice, I think. Okay. But it's, it's just going to kill itself. And then when it hits ravage again, there's nothing going to be there, right? So it doesn't matter? No, because the ravage, it's already defended. The Han are going to fight back immediately. Okay. So okay. right now, we can ravage this right now. Let's take care of that. That's an obvious choice. We get one more fear. <laughs> Um, now the bad thing is, is on each board, so I have to choose either this board or that board to ravage. I didn't defend at all here. They would kill everything there. 
if I choose here, which I think I have to, we're going to have a blight cascade. I think that's what has to happen. Okay. So let's, it's going to ravage there. We're going to add a blight and another blight. We'll put the other blight here because I can actually remove that blight later. Yeah. Okay. So that's a bad thing. And it says if the island is blight, okay, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Could I um yes. go back on my fast power super quick just to finish this innate power and push oh, yeah. the guys over? And push these over here. Okay. okay. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So an explorer's blunder. <laughs> Sorry about it, the lags, guys. You're all right. Keep going. There's no more lag? Yep, you're good. Oh crap. It's all right. We'll figure it out. I got I'll change my settings for next stream. I'm sorry, guys. On each board, destroy two explorers among lands with beasts on them. That is awesome. So on each board, destroy two explorers among lands with beasts. So as long as there's a beast there, destroy two explorers. Can I pick these two? They're gone. Yep. Two here. This one's gone. And two here. That is why beasts are pretty amazing. It's that right. That's awesome. So that was a good, a really good effect. Outside that really bad effect earlier. And now we have this coordinated strikes on each land with three or more Dahan. Um, two damage and defend two. Oh, sweet. On each land. So I'll have this one. They're going to do two damage, which is plus one because the bad lands. That's actually three damage. So let's take out these guys. Were we supposed to ravage all the other jungles yet or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So that was awesome. We didn't generate new, another fear. New question. And that came up from <gasps> a question. Fear card. That came up because Ben's asking too, which makes sense. But um, fear card, I'm please. glad. Just, yeah. um, uh, I don't want to forget that. So if this ravages, should I have left a beast here? This guy's safe? That He's guy's safe. He's safe. Okay, okay, so it's not ravaging jungle right now. Correct. It was an extra ravage because of this stage card. It says you choose a land and they ravage right now before they would normally ravage. They technically ravage twice, but. Um, and yeah, I blighted the desert, which is the horrible thing. So that is that's a bad one. Okay, that was that. We actually generate enough fear, so we got a fear card from that, which is awesome. Okay, so we're back so now. Zero. Yep, now we can get resolve the fear card. So our fear card is this: panic by wild beasts. Um, each player adds a strife in a land with or adjacent to a beast. That is pretty cool. Um, I'm this land is just wrecking house on me, so I'm going to. Does it have that. to be on my own board? Uh, we both choose a land. It could be different. It could be the mm, same land, I different think I'll ones. Just do this one. Okay. Okay, that's pretty, that's a really good card to get. Um, so that is the fear card. Okay, so hopefully I saw some questions there, uh, Ben. If hopefully you got them answered. If not, let me know. Yep, catching up. Okay, catching up on your questions. Okay, so that is that. We need then need to ravage. So now we ravage all the jungles, which okay, is so this. He's not. He's like, oh, I'm not. Sure yeah, he's kind of like, eh, I don't really feel like ravaging right now. Well, he does one damage, but the one damage to the land doesn't do anything. It also does not destroy your presence because the only time your presence gets, gets destroyed is if it gets blighted. With your presence there. Okay. Because that land did not get blighted, your presence is safe. Okay. And then this is a good spot. That's fine. Over here. I think this is fine. Wait, did we do slow stuff? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. That was blight, and then we have to build in the sands. So it looks like we have to build a town here. And a city there. And a city here, correct. Okay. And then we need to explore. Uh, the strife tokens. What do they do again? It means if that token was going to attack, it doesn't. Yes, if that land's going to ravage, that specific piece does not ravage. It cancels the ravage. Yep. Coastal lands are exploring. Okay, so we need to add three explorers in all those coastal lands. Okay. I kind of feel like I'm a little out of control. Like, yeah, I. Up until that point, we're getting these fairly clear. It's going to take a little bit more time to get set up, though. Yes. I have okay. no slow powers or slow effects. So I do. It's all you. I do. Yeah, I got nothing. I need another animal. Um, so I can add a fear and add a beast in a jungle location. I'm going to do that. Or... 
Do I target a land with a beast and invaders? Um, should we get three fear or should I add more beasts to the board? Um, the fear cards we got to burn through. I think we need to. Yeah, but the beast card, if you put a beast up, I can't do that card up there. I'm struggling with what to do with this up here. I can't do anything with that, that desert area. I really need your help up there. So whatever helps you to get up there and help would be ideal because right now they're going to ravage next turn in that spot. And there's already blight there. It's going to cascade again. Okay, then I have to put this here. <clears throat> okay, and then go ahead and slide those cards down too. So, guess... so, all right. So now slow cards. No, no oh, wait. That, that's already slow. Why are we doing slow right now? Oh, that's this. I need three uh, fear then. Oh, no. No. One fear. One fear. One fear. That's just because the card says one fear. And then slow. I need another. Yeah, that was not a good turn for me because I took out that jungle. So, okay. It's okay. It was worth it, though. All right. So now uh, growth. Now we do growth. Yes. Okay. I can defend that sand area. You can? I can. If I get my cards back, I got to put a presence there. I can. Well, I there's can a do that. beast there, yeah, so yep, you should I be able to do that. that. That's why I put the beast there. <laughs> well, <laughs> totally. Okay. All right, so I got to pay a coin, get my cards back, uh, but I can gain a power. And. I need to reclaim stuff. So I can't put present down. Um, question is, do I want to gain a power? Because it's about time to get a major power, I think. About time. Yeah. Because I don't like this card, so I'm just going to get a major power instead. Or, no, no, no. You, you got the defendant, so I'm not to worry about it. I'm going to get this card. I'm going to end up throwing it out in the future, I think, for a major. So let's look what I have for major powers. Um, and then... So, oh, cool. Okay, so I've got this one. It's um, two damage per blight and target land, plus one damage per blight and adjacent lands. It's slow. That's okay, but I don't really care too much about that one. Um, three fear during the rest of this turn, one damage in target land for each thing destroyed there. That's not bad. Symbols aren't the greatest for me. Oh, this one gets weird. <laughs> this one's a really, really cool card. This is part of the expansion. Target land and a land adjacent to it become a single land this turn. Um, it has the terrain and the land number of both lands. When the effect expires, divide the pieces as as you wish. All of them are considered moved. So you can, like, for a turn, like, make a new island for, for a period of time, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can isolate it as well. Uh, it costs four to do that. And this card is amazingly powerful. Uh, move up to five Dahan from target land to any land. Defend five in that land. Um, and they can gather before you do that, which is pretty cool. Um, this, the funny thing is, I don't think I'm going to do any of those and, and, and just dump them. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm not going to forget the card. Any, I'm going to choose one of them and I forget that same card. Okay. It's kind of weird, but. Yep. Um, so I. Reclaim well, my cards. Not. I got a power card. Um, I got. I picked up this one, which is two damage, and I can push a, a explorer. Um, and then I put I put a presence in the sands, so I will defend five, which is not going to be enough. Yeah, it is because that. Uh, oh yeah, the strife is there. there. So you're fine. Perfect. You are fine. I meant to do that. Then I'm going to get two presence or energy there. And I'm going to play two cards. <clears throat> I have to play my defend card. And I want one with the moon. So I'm going to be... Yeah. Oh, wait. This guy's going to build right here, isn't he? What guy? Uh, Where? I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. I'm going to use my steam vents for that guy. Oh. You're okay. No, I'm not okay. Why? Because this is a problem spot too. 
Um, I could defend there. Okay, if you can defend there and I defend over there, then we're okay. Okay, I can I can make that work. I need to play more cards. That's the problem. I can only play two cards right now. So I got to play these two cards: one to destroy an explorer, and one to defend. A crazy amount. I'd rather try to gather things into a spot, but I can't afford to do that. But at least the good news is this gives me some pretty good symbols. I can work with the symbols I have on here. So I will be playing those two cards. I'll gain two energy. Yeah, that's it. All right. I'm not, I got one more card to play. Um... So hopefully this is making sense to you guys. So looks like, hey, Nick, looks like it's going pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But was, the problem is I can't deal with this area up here now that Kim's up there. I'm feeling better about that. Um Oh wait, I'm I'm yellow. I'm not even in that spot. I can't destroy that guy. Okay. Am I, I am I okay or, or am I screwed? I can't help you in that one spot. In this in this area? In this spot here. I thought I could. It's okay. You're fine. Well that's they're gonna build. It's okay. Okay, I'll, it's I'll fine. figure it out. It's fine. Um, okay, but I get my frenzied assault thing. Oh, I can't defend there. <laughs> Am I screwed? Yeah, I, so I, I I got confused. I I have to have a shrine there. I can't I can't defend there at all. I think you're on your own. Well, then I wouldn't have put a presence. Uh, let me see if I can move. You can move. You yeah, can yeah, you I can, can, I can move push. I can do this. My innate powers. To it's move going stuff. to cascade, which is the bad. No, thing. no, I'm going to defend that one. This one, well, either will cascade. Yeah, it's going to cascade. So we're going to get an unhealthy island. I'm thinking. I don't have anything to help with that, unfortunately. If I let me, so I can um, get rid of this guy. If I defend five here, mm -hmm. I kill this. Um, you can do that and hope for the beast to do some damage on that spot. I can do that here. If I move some beasts over there, I can have them attack. Okay, so you can defend five here, move a beast up there. Yeah. And how much damage did your beast do? One per. One per. Um, it's not enough to save you. My guy's going to die, isn't he? Maybe do I have a different card that might... These are all slow. Yeah. It's not going to save you. And push. I mean, you can hope for the event card to have some good effect on it. Oh, but that gets rid of my green. I need the green. So Kim's trying to, what she's thinking about right now, she's trying to balance the icon she gets on her native cards and the cards she's trying to play. Because if she can get that correct number of symbols, she can trigger that ability to get some damage out there. It's really, really tricky to do. So, <clears throat> yeah, right now, what I'm going to do is play this call to 10. I want to remove the blight because we're getting close to too unhealthy. We might have, the problem is it's slow, so we might flip that card on already. And I'm going to do my awesome gather everything in one spot. I'm going to keep trying to do that um, as much as I can so I can do a bunch of damage. I don't think I can fix it. I don't have a way of fixing it either. Because, um... Hope for a good event event come up. I think so. I mean, losing a presence isn't the end of the world. It's one presence. It's not. You're right. So. All right, so that's it. Let's go ahead and go into the rest of the turn. Um, we go fast powers. I have zero fast powers. I'm very slow. Okay, so I'm going to do these innates first. So I can defend five defend one more energy. anywhere. Is it better to gather here? I can only gather one. 
I mean, I can't do anything against this. This is what's going to kill me. So I can defend this spot. Yep. Defend five there. Okay. That's, That's this safe. card. I get yep. a fear for that. Get a fear. Cool. Okay. Uh, this other fast one, I can gather a beast. So I'm going to gather a beast. Grab, grab it from the forest. The jungle? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. And then I have triggered this one here. So one damage per beast in mm -hmm. that spot. Mm -hmm. So should I kill the town or the explorers? It doesn't really matter. Mm, it doesn't matter. The town will give you fear. So Okay, we'll take the town for fear. Okay. Um, and then I can push two beasts out of that spot. You keep them there, they might be able to do something. Yeah, I'll leave them there. Um, Unless you push, no, you can push one of them. You push one. I'm making this the kill zone, so if you you can pile stuff up there if you wanted, but you don't have to. Um, I'll spread them out. Push over there. Okay. And then that guy's gonna die, though, isn't he? My presence. Possibly. Yes. Okay. You have to have one of those explorers go away. I can on my slow power. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have a slow power too. You can help you. Okay, ready for the bad stuff? Uh, 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 event, event. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's see what it is. Stage two. We do urbanization. So it says uh, in each land with at least two towns, which there are none of, replace half the towns with cities. That's good. We're not cool. doing that. So no, no bad effect there. Stricken. Invaders do not ravage in lands with with disease or stripe. Oh my god. That is <laughs> It saved me. That is that literally <laughs> saved you. Wow, that was a great pull. Okay. I'm happy to dance. This is why I like playing with events, because it makes it exciting. On each board, push two to Han from a land with a city to a land without a city. This is the only one. That's the only one, yeah. And I'll just push it over there. Um, or up here? Yeah. Or without a city. Or over here? Over here. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm just happy that my presence isn't going away. <laughs> yes. I don't care about you. anything else. So That's they're not so going to ravage in those spots. Okay, so now we do the ravage stuff. So they would ravage here and not here and not here. Nothing. And not here. So no ravage. Building. Here's the bad part. I can build towns in lots of places. Down here, here. They <laughs> build here a town. Yeah. They're building all the coastal lands. Looks like uh, here you're going to build mm -hmm. this one. Disease stops the build. That's nice. And then they're going to build over here as well. So I don't know. Oh okay. Gosh, this Explore. Is... I what I'm still happy, but it's, it's wetlands. Rough. So here, not over here. It's too far away. There's nothing next to it. Okay. So explore here oh, and here. there. Yep. Okay. The coastal land card is a bad card to deal with. Okay, now we resolve our slow effects. So I'm going to play this one to start. I'm going to remove a blight off of here, so we get a little bit of a buffer. Put that blight over there. So now we're up to um, three. Three. Oh, I'm not doing a good job with my blood counter, am I? I'm sorry, guys. Well, I hope you're counting fear because I stopped doing it over here. <clears throat> yes, I'm counting fear. Okay, good. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that card. And then we have... That's right, Ben. Events are good. Events are good, yeah. yeah. I can gather stuff. Okay. So I'm going to gather a town. I can gather two towns. I can gather two explorers. And I can gather a beast here as well. Oh, let me gather this guy in here too. Boom. So that's just a mess. If I get a presence there, I can like try to start defending that for worst case scenarios. Okay, are you done? Um, you can, we can play simultaneously too. Well, because um, I'm going to add a fear and I can destroy an explorer. So I think, well, there's already a town there. Those will, can you flip this card down, if you don't mind? Because they're going to ravage in coastal lands, which is the problem. 
So what I can do is I can pull this guy here as well with my innate power. Okay. Which explorer should I kill? Uh, this guy. Yes. Okay. And then I do you get fear for I that? get a fear for that. Okay. And then I did trigger um this frenzied assault. Okay. So with one within one range of a beast token. Okay. You add a fear. Okay. And I get two damage. Oh no, the target land has to be a beast token. Yep. Um Yep, so you can get two fear for that. Two fear. Because you get one fear in it. But the beast token goes away. Yep. So make sure that's the one I wanted to do. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Okay. Because that's going to destroy itself now, which is great. Yes, excellent. Okay. I'm I'm so glad we survived that turn. <laughs> that was a rough one. That was Next that was turn. Good. So the nice thing is this is gonna do nothing. This is a problem zone. This needs a little bit of help, and this is needs a little bit of help as well. Okay. Okay. Let me think about this. <clears throat> I need to put some presents on the board. Do I need to have that that uh, defend <laughs> card again? What defend card? Defend five. Uh, for depends on what you're trying to do. I don't know what you got in your. I, I don't. I don't know either. I can. Gather beasts, I can destroy a guy, I can push things. I Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Pay to get that card back. Which then also gives me I'm gonna go for a major power. Do I draw two? Four? Four. Draw four and pick one. Yep. Um I am gonna put more presents on the board. And I can put it over here to help, I guess. Yeah, I'll put it over there. <clears throat> oh, I get three energy now. Yes, good, okay. And then I can gain a power as well, which I think I will. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find good power here. So here's the powers I can choose from. Like, Okay, Kim wants me to wants to Sorry, look at this I card. Distracted. I think I'm gonna do that. She wants this card. Unleash a torrent of the shelf's self's own essence. Gain four energy. You may forget a power card to gain four more energy, or pay X energy to do X damage to land in your spot. You can potentially do both. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do that, but I have to forget a different power. Yeah, which is fine. So I have this. Ooh, this is pretty good. Um. Oh wow, remove a blight? That's pretty good. And it gives me the symbols I need. Two damage, then either add three or remove a blight. Oh. So this symbol here is the explore symbol. It is um the, you haven't seen them yet. It's a new icon. It prevents it's a technically wild symbol, it prevents explorers from um triggering that spot. Um, the other one, oh, this is really good too. Flow like water, reach like air. Target spirit gets plus two range to all powers. Target spirit may push one of their uh, presence to an adjacent land, bringing it up to two. Yeah, they can bring stuff up with it, um, which is pretty, pretty cool because my problem is I don't have a very strong reach. And so that could help with my reach problems I'm running into. Um, but the other one I could do too is this one, Winds of Rust and et Atrophy, um, range three, which is huge, and I can add fear and defense six, and then also downgrade um, a city to a town or a town to explore. Um, the symbols don't really match what I need to, unfortunately. Um, yeah. And the other other power I don't I don't care for. So I guess the question is for you guys if you're looking at what I have here. Which of these three do you prefer? As my green screen kind of, kind of went crazy there. I apologize. What is going on with my green screen? There it goes. So, should I do the thicket one? Um, to flow like water to get more range of my stuff. This one will be 
this one moves blight, which is pretty good, um, and does damage as well. And this one is downgrading and defending a ton. So let me know which of those you prefer. Shh, I can't put it there. <clears throat> and I think from an icon standpoint, any of them work for me. This one's probably the least. Flow is awesome, you think? Okay. Ben says flow, I will do flow. Okay. So now I could technically defend for you, Tim, if you want. Okay. Well, here's what I did. You I need up, me to defend for you. Well, I picked up that card okay. and I dropped a presence here. Um, I took my energy for that too. I was thinking I could put it here, but the I'm gonna have to move my guy in that position. <clears throat> That's gonna ravage. Not if I get my guys there. Okay, I can defend there as well potentially. So. Depending on what Kim's doing, though. Yes, I agree with you, Ben. Okay. So, doing flow. And then... I want to play this super card. <laughs> you play super card? Okay. Um, so, let me know what you're doing, and I can figure out what I'm going to play with that. Well, if you can defend there, maybe I put my presence here, and then I can super card that. And knock out a bunch of those guys. You can. I have a card set up where I can take out a bunch of them as well. Okay. I just want to put those tokens in there because I can do one, two, three, four. I can do four damage to it right now in fast speed. Yeah, I can do four damage to it right now. Um, so, yeah, if you want to help out in that spot, totally. I can. I mean, or do you need I... Me to def I guess do you need me to defend up here. Yeah, I can't get there. I need to put a beast over there. <laughs> so you can't get there. Okay. I will defend. That's fine. That means I have to play these two cards. I de defend 10. Generally, it's at range 0, but because I'm playing this one, I get plus 2 to my range. So I can actually reach that spot and defend it, which is awesome. It's going to cost me 3 energy. I get 3 energy for that. So those are my two cards I'm playing. Shoot. So I will go ahead and mark this on the board so you know what's going on. I'll go ahead and do my fast as I'm just trying to figure out what you're doing. I might, if you're taking care of that, I might take care of this. This is going to go. All of that's going to go? Well, this is okay. This is fine. This one is bad. This one is also bad. I can defend myself here. Okay. So if instead of putting my presence over there, I can put my presence right here. Okay. And I'll start... Those can you guys. do anything against this spot? No. Okay, that's the only one that's going to be a problem. But that's okay. It's remind Kim she gets plus two range too. Um, well, it's target spirit, so it's either myself or Kim. I have to choose myself to get the defend ten, but I can also give it to Kim too if you want to have plus two to range. No, because all my well. Hmm? If that lets you defend up there, then that's fine. I don't need to play my defend card. Well, I can either defend here with my own card, or I can use my card to defend up there if you give me the range. It's one or the other? Yeah. That's I, no. It doesn't matter. Doesn't, then. Yeah, it has to be me then. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to play that one. And then I'm going to play... <laughs> I think that's one spot just a huge mess. <laughs> this one... Yeah, Ben. I I wish it was both of us too. It's not quite that good. It's very, very good, but it's not quite that good. So, not quite. And I just need to play more cards. I'm getting I'm getting the energy right now. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to play that one. I'm sorry. I'm not playing my super card. I had to change my strategy. Because hopefully, what I can get to if I get my my icons up a little bit more. Um, I'll be able to start pulling in more stuff from the, sh the shoreline. Ba, 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 ba. What am I doing? Okay. Yeah, that's. I don't like it, but I was hoping to do more. That's okay. okay. That's it. Get your cards played. We do mm -hmm. our fast stuff. So I defend a 10 up there, and that's basically all I'm doing. I will the Ravaging Coastals. Yep. 
That strife is saving us. Yep. That strife... Well, we're going to blight there because there's two explorers. Correct. <laughs> Unless you move a beast token in there, which you could do. If you have your Nate, that could save you. I do. I did trigger... I can, but it's gathering. Yeah, you can choose this as a spot. Gather that beast token into here. Oh, yeah. I kept thinking I need to have my presence nope. in that location. You can move your presence if you want, but no, you don't have to. Is that defend? It's yeah, it is, but I'm old? just going to... Yeah, it's old. I'm okay. going to put that there. Okay. So, yeah, I'll move that beast token there. Uh-huh. And then you can do... Did you trigger your damage effect? You did. So you can do a damage. You all, all you have to do is one damage, and then you're fine. Okay, good. So that won't blight. Awesome. Do you want me to push that guy back away? Uh, it's up to you. No, he'll hang out there. Okay. Okay. Um, and that was all this. So defend, fear token that. I get a fear token from the card. Oh, sorry. Fear token. Sorry, that sorry. That was I said that word. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then we already triggered all the fastinates. Uh -huh. okay. No more fear. Um, not until slow. Ah, uh, well, one way from getting our next fear card. Okay. That's it. So now we do event. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Dahan, trade with invaders. Some seek knowledge. Others are interested in tools and trade goods. So others simply curious. All hope to avoid violence. And the invaders seem amiable, at least for now. Amenable, so for now. You may ignore their interests. Dahan do not participate in ravage this turn. Which isn't ideal. Because we're just short a lot this turn. Mm -hmm. Or display your wrath at this betrayal. So this is interesting. This has a cost to it. So it costs two energy per player, aided by um, fire. What this means is when you have a choice for events, um, you can aid it. So you get plus one to the cost for every element you have in play. So because I played a card with a fire on it, I get one to that cost. I can also just pay it for energy it straight up. And then you can also... Plus two, if you discard a power card with an element from my hand. So if I have like this fire one, I can discard this card from my hand and add to that cost. Or I can forget a power to get plus four to that cost. So the question is, can you get that get up to that cost, which is two energy per player, uh, to, to, to stop that? I have... So... I played a fire, so that's one. I have a fire too, so that's and also can, one. And I can pay a token. I Yeah, we could probably pay for it. I have a... Yeah. I can discard but what a is it that we're hand. paying to get? If we do that, each spirit with the Han in their lands destroy one of them and generates one fear. Don't like it, but it would get us a fear card. So otherwise, we could do the last one: change and help them learn from the enemy. Cost is six energy per player, aided by wind. The Han do not participate in ravages this turn. Each spirit forgets a power card. From next turn on, each the Han provides defend one in its land. Oh, this is for the rest of the game. So that's kind of cool. So Dahan will... Wind is purple. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. I don't have any. I have one in play. I have one in my hand. So that's three. Um, I, I got, don't... I got one in my forget. hand. So that, so that would be two. That would be two more. So that would be five. We would still need seven more. I, I have if, four energy. I have three energy. So it'd be all our energy. We could do it. We could. And what does that? What does that get us? It would give us that the Han will um, defend, defend one in its land for the rest of the game. I think that's worth it. But they don't ravage this turn, which is the bad thing because right now, um, right now they're going to destroy here, everything here, everything here, and everything here is going to get destroyed. But now it's not going to happen. But but we have the, to we have to pick something though to do. Yes, we have to pick one of them. As opposed to, we would destroy Dahan and generate some fear. We get a fear card otherwise. We would destroy how many Dahan? Um, each spirit with Dahan in their lands, which is both of us. We would destroy two Dahan. I think since we can go for the big one, let's just do it. Even though we wouldn't kill all that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, that's on lean towards as well. The wind option. Wind option yeah, is great. Ben says the same thing. All right, so I'm okay. going to discard this one. Discard mine. All my energy. Yep, same here. I have zero energy, but we have to forget a power card. I... 
forget a power card? I mm -hmm. thought it was discard. Nope. Forget one as well. Oh, no. <clears throat> so that's the other bad thing. But it's pretty, pretty good. I'll forget this one, I guess. I haven't played this card at all yet. I think I'm going to forget it. I got rid of my Blight removal one, unfortunately, but it's the better, the best option. Okay, and the last fact, we don't have any disease on there, so nothing happens. Okay, so that was a lot of things going on. Slow step? Wait, where are we? What are we that was event. That was event. <clears throat> Put this up here so we remember. Okay. So now, no fear card. We do Ravage. So now they're going to Ravage. So, Ravage here, nothing happens. Ravage here. Strife just gets discarded. That's correct. Um, nothing happens there. Ravage here, nothing happens there. Defended. Here, nothing there. Defended. Here, nothing there. Strife discarded. That's correct. Okay. Yes, still okay. Okay, so that was all the Ravage. Nothing happened to Ravage. Now we do build. Building in wetlands. So they're going to build a city here. And town. a town there. Okay, and then what are they going to do to explore? Mountains. Mountains. So it looks like there's going to be one here, one here, and you get Two. just one here. Because there's not a source oh, yeah. for explore for that. That's spot. just a dude. That's just a dude. It has to be a okay. place. Yeah. Okay, so now slow. Now we do slow. Yes. Okay, so one fear. Okay, which is going to push up to eight. So that's a fear card. Okay, and I can destroy a guy. Ooh, also, we get up to terror level. We're terror level two now. Nice. So that means we just need to destroy all the towns and cities to win the game. I can destroy a guy within range of one of my jungles. Um, could destroy this guy. Yes, that's a good one. Okay. Okay. And I do trigger my frenzied assault again. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I can get it has to be a target land with a beast. I'm gonna get a fear and and do two damage. I could do that here. Get rid of that guy. To get another, it'd be two fear. Okay. Joe, should I do that? Um, or should I not worry about that yet? I can do it over here. What are you trying, sorry. If I target a land with a beast, yep. I do two damage. Uh huh. The beast is going to go away, but mm, I get a fear. No. No? Not worth it? Not for that. Okay. All right. And I can pull someone towards me which i don't think it makes sense oh it could pull this guy here boom pull that into here which will be a two explorers okay that's my slow power okay, so defense goes away <clears throat> okay and yeah, defense goes away cool now we're on to the next turn which I have to reclaim my stuff. Okay. So I can't, oh, I do get an energy for that, which is good. Um. Man. Man is right. So what's our, what's our issue now? We have, Oh, can you push this down, please, and put the terror on the in the right spot? Uh, no, terror card. That thing. No, that thing. Yes, in the corner. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so confused. <clears throat> yes. So uh, they're going to build in the mountains, and then they're going to ravage in the wetlands. So I'm going to ravage here and here. That's a problem. This is kind of a problem, but I can I can deal with that. If I reclaim my cards again, I can defend one of them. I can defend this one. All right, I should reclaim, but I have to gain three energy. Yeah. Building up here is going to be a problem. I can't. I I'm we're can't do I'm everything. Thin. I'm going to gain three. 
I'm going to reclaim, pay one of them, and then I'll gain a power card. Do regular minor power. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to kill lots of stuff. I'm going to gain a power card. <clears throat> yeah, here's one of them. Even though the wetlands are getting ravaged. Yeah. We, we can manage the wetlands, I think. You're optimistic. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I can. I, too late now for my comment. was coming where the kid should destroy the town of last round. Oh, okay. Yeah, true. Yeah, for the beast. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I can push things around. It's good, good symbols for me. Ooh, you can add one to destroy one back to the board. That's cool. We can push a blight around. Diamond Morphosis. Yeah. One fear, one damage. One damage to Dahan. Add. What? Add one symbol, one. Adds literally every symbol to the board and a blight. Oh, wow. We don't want blight. I'm sorry. We don't want blight. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Um. I do the Sky Herald. Yeah, so that one. Okay, add that to my hand. <clears throat> okay, so what am I gonna play? I'm gonna kill everything. And by doing so, I'm gonna play my, this one. Two fear, one damage per token, which is gonna be one, two, three, four damage in that spot. And then I have to defend 10 there. So I gotta play those two cards. That's what I'm doing. Okay, I like the slow one better. What do you think? Kim's looking at these two cards to draft. She likes this one. Terror level is two, so we get two fear and add a strife. This one is defend three plus two fear. But I'd have Ooh, to have both good. I'd have to have a shrine, and my I'm not really shrining up yet. Okay, if you're not shrining, you have to do that one. Okay. Well, you don't Possible to get a close up of innate powers at some point, kind of curious. Yes, I can do that. I am let's see. Okay, so I'll move my board into that zone so you can see it. I'm going to knock things around. Well, okay. <clears throat> so here's my innate powers that aren't showing up very well. Let's try to fix that real quick. Actually, can I turn this light? Yeah, that, that doesn't that's, look that's good. That's worse. That's worse. Oh, I got my, my uh, camera all messed up. My green screen. It just doesn't like me today. Can I just um, hold it up to the main camera? No, because it's got stuff on it right now. You can uh, remember what it is. Yeah, it's better. Brighten up a little bit too. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you can see this a little bit better. Um, uh, so my innate powers are um, slow within range one invaders. After this power replaces one explorer, gather any number of those explorers to your lands. Um, and I can get a fear, potentially. So basically what it does is I replace an explorer with an explorer, which is weird to say, right? But I do that, and then I can pull that explorer to my spot. I can gather it, um, which is what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to choose a spot and gather invaders to it. Um, and then what I can do is I can take a town and replace it with two um, explorers or potentially get a city to three explorers. So I'm kind of like downgrading the towns and cities to explorers. And so thematically what's happening is like my spirit has this lure on top of them. And so from their, their windows they say, oh, look, what's that light? Let's go find out. And they forget the town's there and they kind of town You're like a away. female anglerfish. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, female anglerfish, which is interesting because the males, don't they burrow inside the female and die? Yes. Which is kind of gross. Yeah, fun fact. Fun fact, yes. Male anglerfish. Bite the female, and they're only like this big they're compared really to the, tiny. the female. Is yeah. like this big. The female is the one you normally see with the big jaws and, and the, the light. light. Hanging out. The males, I don't think they do anything yeah. other than they mate. don't. They bite onto the female. Yes. Share their love, <laughs> and then they die, and the female absorbs them. Yes. And that's it. That's their life. Yep. The more you know. <laughs> Nature is very, very crazy. So, um, but that's my innate power. And then this one over here, if I destroy any of these. So I can I haven't been able to do this yet, but I can add badlands or destroy stuff, um, and then I can generate a bunch of fear with that, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't have the force, like I said, to be able to do that yet. 
Okay, here you go. Kim's innate powers. So she can gather... Um, <laughs> yeah, I gather saw that beast. too, Dan. What's that? An anglerfish washed ashore in California. Oh, yeah, I did see that, yeah. So she can gather a beast, do damage to the beast, and then push them again. So she's, like, very mobile. And when she does that, she can move her presence with them. And over here, she can generate fear, two damage, but removes a beast from the board. So this is when her beasts actually attack. And she can potentially do more fear, more damage. So that's what she does. <coughs> so, yeah. That is that. Okay, so reset your settings. I know. It's a little blurry. There we go. Okay, so again, I'm going to play Defend. I have to just keep whipping that card out. That's okay. I'm not doing much on my turn. But if you get your presence destroyed, um, you can get it back on the board. So I don't have a presence there. I'm screwed. What are you trying to do? Right here. It's going to blight. It is. Can you defend that one? And I can defend that one? You can defend this thing? Yes. How? I have a presence there, and I have my domesticated animals go berserk card. There's a lot of stuff there. You realize that, right? I can defend five. Yeah, I'm defending I ten. Didn't... Can you is defend five, here? Is five enough? No, Five's enough there. I don't have a presence there. I can't defend there. You can play your card and move your presence later. How do I move my presence? You can gather. Push this guy here. Gather it back, and you got presents, and then your card works. Oh, I do that innate power that you mm -hmm, just talked about mm -hmm, first. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. okay. Or maybe it appears better, so you can, I don't know, okay. know what you're doing. Okay. But yeah, okay. that'll work. Because the interesting thing about this game, you can play a card and not necessarily be able to resolve it and be able to resolve <laughs> it later. What are you laughing at? Sorry, I'm just reading comments. Oh, okay. <laughs> Board games and miniature nature documentary, yes. So, little known fact about Kim and I, we, I don't know what it is, but we love watching, like, nature videos of animals, like weird animals. It's fascinating. It's just, but I like watching, like, the, the ones that are also kind of funny, like Z Frank is yes. hilarious. Z Frank on YouTube. Um, Go watch it. It's not for kids, just to warn you. Except for kids. We, we let our son watch it when I say that. But it, he is hilarious. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. It's, it's entertaining and educational. But yeah, we like watching about a lot of weird Fun uh, facts. Fun facts about okay, panels. so I'm going to play my Defend 5 card to do the little swappity doo thing that you mentioned. And then my okay. other card. I got to get damage out there. All the damages. <laughs> Does this frenzied thing also have to occur in the same. No, never mind. Nope, you can choose different spots. Yeah. Different powers yeah. to different spots. Yep. yep. There's a lot going on in this game, if you guys haven't noticed. It is an amazing game. I love this game. I will I never get tired of playing it. So, like I said, my number one game of all time. Just because, like, there's so many levers to pull. You can make the game exactly what you want. And then the spirits are so interesting. There's a lot to think about. Because what I like to do about games is I like exploration. When I say exploration, it's not literally exploring the board. It's exploring what you can do in a game. And so this is interesting to me because the spirits are all very unique in how they play. And they have starting cards, which play uniquely off them as well. But the cool thing is, based upon the powers I draft, I can then customize how that spirit plays on top of that. And so I'll play the same spirit like five times in a row, but based upon how I draft my powers and how I trigger things around, it'll be a, it can run very, very differently. Like I have a very defensive spirit in one game and very offensive in the other, or who knows what. Um, so yeah, that's why I love this game so much. Just a lot going on i'm gonna just pump up a bunch of fear so i don't want to keep spending all my money 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 and the bad thing is we got another one of those events that's aided we we need some help <clears throat> well now all our i'm gonna save this one coin i'll play this one instead <laughs> all of our dahan do gives defend one so keep that in mind yeah which is great because you won't have to worry about that spot that's going to take care of itself. Good. Well, kind of. They're going to... What do you mean, kind of? They're going to build. Just yeah. don't lie. Don't okay. lie. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Ready. Let's Fast do it. Fast powers. Fast powers. So. Okay. What are we doing? Um, if I um, push... Mm-hmm. 
you gather. gather, and this guy moves with it. Yep. Okay, and then uh, one damage per guy, and this guy will die. Okay. And then I'm going to defend five right here. Fully defended. Which is just enough. And that's that card. And then this will trigger my Frenzied Assault. Good turn. Okay. I'm going to... This has one, two, three... I'm going to play this card. So we're going to get two fear to start. And then one damage per token there, basically. And I see three tokens, so it's going to be three damage. But the balance does plus one damage, so it's going to be actually four damage there. So with that four damage, I'm going to destroy this city for three... That's going to generate us two fear. And I'll get rid of another. Did I do that? Ooh, this has to be stacked. Did I grab the wrong card? Yeah, that has to be another explorer. Do that. Uh, <clears throat> I may have cheated. Okay, and then I'm going to play this card to defend 10, which is. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 there, but because remember our Dahan do have defend 1. Um, that's completely defended. We don't have to worry about it. The Han should be able to kill a bunch of stuff, too. Okay. That is it for me for Fast Powers. Now we do... Event. Event card. Here we go. We are still Healthy Island, so Urban Development. During the next Normal Ravage, each city does plus two damage. That's not good. I died. <laughs> You're going to lose that, yes. Okay, and then on each board, um, ignore, add one disease. Ignore disease during builds this invader phase. So we just add some disease on the board, on each board, anywhere we want. Um, it's going to be ignored this turn, though, by the way. Oh. So we can put it almost anywhere. It's fine. You put it there if you want. Yeah, and put it up there, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Actually, this is a trouble spot for me. Let's get rid of that one. <laughs> okay. And then we have the last one, uh, Fierce Main. One fear per land with invaders where Dahan outnumbered towns or cities. Okay. Get rid one of One fear per land. So this one counts. There's only three towns. This one counts. There's only one town. That's two. This one? No, it has to have a town or city in it. So just those two. We get two more fear. That outnumbers. Yes, as it outnumber the towns or cities. Yeah. With oh no, with invaders. Yeah, so I mean, it could just have zero towns and cities, and uh, yes, so you're correct. It says this, with invaders, not with towns or cities. So, yeah. This one. That one counts. That's this another one. one. That's another one. This one. No, no invaders no. there. That's it. Correct. Oh wait, that's eight. Boom. Another fear, another fear card. card. That's awesome. So we have two fear cards to go through. We do have two fear cards. Now we do fear cards. Now we're in terror level two, so we get to do the second level abilities of them. Let's do yeah. it. So Ben's asking, is it defend one per Dahan? Um... Yes, that's correct. It is defend one per Dahan due to our previous engagement, um, previous event card. That's correct. Um, I once got to create a new section of the island with completely destroy another one at the same time. Oh, yeah. Dude, Ben. I Yeah. It's awesome. I, I remember I played a game with um, Colin remotely um, on One Stop Co-op Shop, and we got to destroy Island Part 1, 2, and we literally moved all the invaders on that one island board and destroyed the whole board. <laughs> it was pretty epic. So much fun. I love it. Okay, let's go ahead and do the fear cards. Oh, right. please be good. First one, we get level 2. It says, each player may gather one explorer into a land with town or cities, or gather a town into a land with a city. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Each player may gather. Um, what is the problem areas we have here? Coastals. Coastals. So, since this is going to go off anyway, I could gather both those. I can gather one in here. And you can gather the same the one into one. there. Okay, and then it and won't then, build. Yeah, it won't build. That seems pretty good. Okay. Yeah, because okay. this guy's going to die anyway. Yeah, it's going to go off. And then we have this one, level two. Each player removes one town or one explorer or one town from a land with with those symbols and at least two Dahan. 
So it has to have a beast or, an, or disease or at least two Dahan. Okay. So I can get rid of this town? Yes. We shouldn't have put these guys there. <laughs> they wouldn't have died. Well, we, we didn't know until we know. drew the card. Um, we'll get rid of that town. Yeah, that town's a good one. And it's re now the question is, is it's removed, so we don't get this fear for it. But yeah, definitely get rid of that town. Um, let's use one more. This, I'd say this one, because if it triggers, it's going to build a town. And if we got rid of this one, either way, it would build a city. Well, those are those are going to die, basically. You don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm. Ravage. Yeah, you can get rid of that one town. That's fine. Okay. That is it. Now we go on to the Ravage step. Unfortunately, this one is going to add a Blight, unfortunately. So our Blight counter is now down to two. Yep. Did my presence get... presence get, does get destroyed. Meow. But I do have a card you can get back. So. Okay. My defense. So even though I defended five... Because there is... Wait a second. There's only five there. Yeah, there's five there. You're good. Wait, but didn't we get a card that oh, boosted Oh, no. Plus it? two. Yeah, plus yeah. two damage. Right, Why did we move those there? <laughs> because it doesn't matter. No, it wouldn't. Oh, because we destroyed the... Exactly. If we, I would have been okay. That's right. We didn't know. Yeah, that's fine. Here's the order of the cards that came out that messed up yep. with us. Does the beast stay there? Uh, the beast stays there. Yep, he's fine. And this is going to ravage, which is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's defended by 14, so that's fine. And then these guys are going to attack back with 4 each. So 1, 2, 3, get rid of all the towns. That's 3. That's a 1, 2, th that's 3 of them. I got... One, two, three more damage. I can give her three more explorers. Nice. And we get three fear from that. That's that's what we call kill zone. So two explorers left. <laughs> that's pretty good, Steve. Come to me. Come to the wetlands. It's safe. I know. All right. Okay. So, so that was the ravage, but now we do build. They're going to build up here. And that is it. And that is it. And they will explore in the jungles and mountains. Jungles and mountains, which looks like it's going to be here. here. Not here. It's too far away. Here. Um, they would do there. That's correct. Not, the not there. It's too far away. And just here. That's actually not too bad. Okay. Okay. And then I just slide this card down if you don't mind because it's going to mess with me otherwise. Yep. And then now we do slow. slow powers. Okay. So two near to the jungle, within one range of the jungle, I get one fear, I can destroy one guy. Um, within range of a jungle with my guy in it. See, I do have the ability of... I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay. Um, did you give me a fear for that, please? You only get a fear? Yep, it's on the card. Okay. Um, and then my slow frenzied assault. Again, I can remove a beast and so we're up to two per symbol. I get two damage. There's no real good I can destroy these two with my innate. I get one fear for that. Okay. So I could do two damage where a beast is, and then the beast goes away. I don't see a good spot for that other than like this, but that doesn't make sense to me because there's cities there. Yes. Actually, what I could do is I can actually pull this guy here and destroy that guy with him. So I'll do that. That's my other ability. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm not going to trigger that. Okay. Next round. We have to get rid of all the towns and cities. We're close. Well, no, maybe not that close. No, we're not. We're I, I'm not doing enough damage. No, we're not. Um, so I need to I need to rack up some energy to trigger this super card. Okay. I need to get more presence so, on the board so I can do more. Gaining three energy. 
do I have to defend? I'll put a presence down. So the problem area, we need two defend up, three defend up there. That is it. Everything else is okay. This one's going to kill itself, which is really awesome. Yep. Do you, can you defend that or do you need me to? Um, It'd be way better if you could. Um, I can have you do it. Put me to work. Okay. No, no, no. You, you don't have to worry about it. I'm no, going to no, get you to do it. Yeah. Why are you putting the presence over there? Because I'm doing this thing. It has to be in a jungle or where there's a beast. And I can move the guys with them if I'm over there. Because I was going to have you add a presence there. Well, but I, I took... So I... Ben's question is only need defense of two. Um, not exactly, because there's a town there for two damage. One, two, three. Three explorers, so it's three damage. So it's five damage there. Five damage, and the Dahan natively defend two because of the special ability, right? So they are going to do three damage there currently. We need to defend. Oh, wait, you're right. We only need defense two. You're correct. You're correct. So are we safe there? No, we're not safe there, but I'm going to help you be safe so there. So the reason I put a presence there is I'm doing this growth ability. Okay. I got my three energy. I'm doing this growth. So I pulled one off here so I can start playing more cards. Okay. So I have to put it in a jungle spot or where a beast is. You just want to get this beast somewhere else. That's what you want to do. Yeah. That's fine. Because I'm going to add your destroyed presence here, and I'm going to move those to Han there for you. Okay, that's fine. And because that'll be the defend enough defend there, and then you can, and it'll all be dead. So that's going to be with this one card. It's going to be awesome. Everything is just me. <clears throat> okay. So that's so with that one card, I can take care of that issue over there. Um, we still have. Or I don't put it there. And. A double stack because I think I may have played this card wrong, wrong once before because it was supposed to be a shrine. Yes, yeah, that's be a shrine. Yeah. I can give you more range. Um, so if I don't put it there and instead I put it here, so now I'm in like a okay. central area. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about that space up there at all. Okay, okay. If I don't have to worry about that, we're good. And then play some cards. So what I need to do is I need to break down this city, ideally. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I think I'm going to be playing this gather card again and this ability to do that. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah, now that song's like that. Sorry, right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> In order to break that town down, I need three moons and two air, which means I can choose this other ability to, choose to get an air so I can break it down. Uh, it gives me the right symbol I need to make it work. I gain mm -hmm. two energy for doing so. And I can still put a present on the board someplace. Sweet. Um, actually, I don't need to do that. Well, I'll do it anyway. Let's put this present. Um, what do you? What do you need? Maybe I'll put another shrine over here so I've got some options. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Okay, I'm good. Should I play the damage card? I feel like I should play the damage card. I get four energy, so I'll get one net energy. Okay. Good, I can do all those. <laughs> That's singing it. What? Nice. I know. Nice, Ben. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I just have to start saving energy. So, fast powers. Fast powers. So I'm playing these two. I'm going to resolve this one here. It is going a spirit with presence on target land. On target board may add one destroyed presence. So, we'll go ahead and add your destroyed to the region three on my board. Where? Up here. And then with that, it can gather up to two Dahan. So gather those two Dahan there. And that should do it. 
So you should be all fortified there, because that's for defense. Thank you. Boom! Okay. Look at that teamwork. I can push two invaders or add a beast to a non blighted area. Where are we going to ravage or build? Um, this is a problem spot, right? Mm, kind of. They're going to build a town there. I'm going to bring the town and two explorers here. Um, so there's going to be one explorer left. So, no, not really. Okay, we'll just push these two out of the way then. So they don't build there. Yep, it's a good idea. Um, yeah. Because I targeted a land with a beast. Okay. Okay. Um, not done. My <clears throat> ra ranging hunt triggers. So... Kim's got all the fast stuff. I'm just staying away for do stuff. Yeah, I like that, Ben. I like that play, too. A little tricky for one energy. Totally worth it, too. Hey, get your destroyed presence back, and let's protect So you said own. that this is all taken care of. You're going to kill, kill all that. All is going to die. It's all defended. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, all is going to die. I'm going to gather this here. And hopes that it destroys it. And then I'm going to, one, two, one, two, three, destroy this. Boom! Well, you didn't need to do that. It's going to destroy itself. Oh, should I gather somewhere else? Yeah, I should just go someplace else. Okay. Nope. Get out of here. Where should this go? If you do it here, that will be clear. I can gather this one over. Nah, not a deal, but okay. I or I gather, gather that one. Yeah, I'll gather that okay. one. That's a good one. Kill that guy. Boom. Should I push it back or leave it there? Push it here. Why? Because it gives me more damage. To that spot or to mm -hmm. anywhere? That spot. Just to that spot? Yes. You don't need more damage there. Yeah, I don't have enough damage there. Why? There's because nobody there. I'm going to put a ton of guys there. Oh. Like, I'm breaking down that city and having everyone walk there. So you're going to turn the city into people? Yes. Okay. Okay, yes. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> this wetlands be like, man, this is a great spot. I didn't did Phil move over there? Yeah, I thought he was there, but he's not there anymore. I don't know what's going on. Let's go there anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Come to me. Okay. <laughs> I trust you. It's fine. Yeah, like stop being weird. I'm thinking. I think the, all your that's fast? all my fast stuff. So okay, I'll let's do the stuff. rest of it. We have event. Let's see what the event is this time. It is. War touches the island's shores. Invaders from a different fairway land, faraway land, fairway, uh, assault the ones here, torching farms and bombarding cities. You may allow the attacks. Go ahead. For each board, discard the top major power. Deal its energy and damage to invaders and the land and the land in the coastal land with the most towns or cities. Defend reduces its damage. So that would be on my board here or here. Mm -hmm. Bad thing about that, it would cause a blood cascade if we chose that spot. So say what this is this one potentially because it defended four, it could. What is happening? That. Say that again it, in dumb language. You have to choose. So um, each board we have to choose. So my right. board and your board, potentially. Um, deal its energy damage. So we're going to discard the top major power. This one. Yeah, the okay. Co we don't know what cost it is. It could be two, it could be eight. Could be zero. No. There's no zero cost major events. Oh, okay. I think the lowest is two. Okay. Um so it's gonna so, be damage damage to the the land and invaders as well. So it'd wipe out the invaders, it would potentially wipe out the land. Um the problem is, if we have, we could, we will most likely add blight. So if it's more damage than we, then if it's more than two damage. It's going to add blight. Power. Yeah, which okay. is very likely. It's very likely we'd add blight. If we add two blight to the board, we're going to be unhealthy. Does it does the damage to the invaders and the land? Correct. So not like invaders first, and if I consume the damage, and there's no left over. Right. right. 
But it says okay. defend does reduce the damage. So, but it's not worth it because there's, there's no, no good defend on my tile. Correct. Okay. So, so ideally, we two. want to do option two: help help repel them in newcomers. Cost one energy per player, which is just two energy. But we add a fear card to the top of the fear deck, so it's a little bit harder for us to get to the next stage. But I think that's totally worth it. Cost two energy to do yes, that? I can afford it if okay. you're struggling. Yeah, I'm trying to gain energy. Okay. So we're adding a fear card. Yep. So here's an extra fear card. Add to the top. Okay. Next one. Beasts and new homes. On each board, push a beast to an adjacent land without blight. One fear of invaders are present there. On each board, push a beast without blight. Right here. Yep. So you can generate a fear. So one fear for that. Okay, and we can push these guys here, up here. I'm pushing a beast token. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Push that one there. Where was this one? Oh, wait. I, I pushed... It's per board. I pushed this one here. Oh, yeah. You can't push that and one. And so then. I'd have to do this. No, let's push this one instead. Get but, then, one but then you don't get a fear token. Yeah, I don't need a fear token. Okay. Okay. Um, reclaim territory. Each player may push one to Han to an adjacent land, doing one damage there. You may. Yes, push. Each player can do that. Yeah, push those two over. Boom, boom. Dead, dead. Dead, dead. Okay. Ha -ha. Okay, okay. Ha -ha. Reclaim territory. I like it. Oh, like that crutch is so fun. Okay. Now what? And that was it. We don't have any fear cards yet. We still need more fear. Need two more fear. And bad stuff. So Ravage. Okay. This does he does one damage. This is two damage back to him. He's dead. Dead. Up here, one, two, three, four, five. We blocked four of it. They they attack back with eight, and they're all dead. Get a fear token. Get one one fear. And then nothing here, nothing okay. there. That's all the ravage. Then they're gonna build. Where's this guy? This guy's not here, is he? No, he was in the He's up here, right? Yeah. yeah. So, no build. Yeah, no build. Wow. Excellent. Where are they going to explore? All right. Sands and mountains. So, here and here on my board. And then here and here, and that's it. Uh, correct. Yeah, this is this is looking good. I'm turning the tire, tide a little bit here. Okay. Slow powers. I'm going to use my gather ability. I'm going to gather this beast in here, gather these Dahan into here. This guy comes into here, and then this one I'm going to break down my innate power into three floors. <clears throat> okay. Um, this is going to bug you. This is going to bug me. So, yeah, that's a lot of death in that spot. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. All right, so I can do two damage within one of this stack. I can throw two of these, actually. Um, but there can't be Blight there. So it has to be that northern mountain spot. Why is there a guy here? Oh, explore. You just put him there. Yeah, yeah. So I think he's the only one I can kill. Worth it. And I got an extra fear for us with my innate power. So we got a fear card. Can you give us a fear card? All right. We are looking. Okay. I can do my beast thing if I want to. So I need to come over and help your board. Yes. I think I might. Um... Oh, no, I can't. I don't have enough. I don't have fast Animal. powers, but if you have fast powers and you can take out those guys, we're, we'll be good. Okay. Okay. Slow. Um, new, new, new turn. There we go. I need a fast power to take out guys. Which yeah. guys? If we can take out these, these three buildings, can win the game. Okay. If not, that's okay. We're looking I'm really good. My super energy card, but I need my board's pretty much empty. So I need a presence there. I don't have a presence there. I I can help quite a bit. 
If I do my push and gather thing, I'll be okay. Um, I'm going to add presence here. I'm gonna rec I can reclaim a card in my hand, which I'm going to do. I'm going to gather three energy as one of them. <clears throat> so I want to play... Do I have to defend anywhere? No, please. No. Okay. So oh, I'm going to do fine. this. I'm going to play these cards. And get a power card. Okay. I need to break down a city. The problem is they're going to build here. That's the problem. The cards that I buy, do they go into my hand or in my discard? They go into your hand, yes. Okay. Okay. I'll get a. I appreciate the optimism, card. Ben. I think we can finish this out. Where's, where's the comment? Yeah. Oh, got in the bag? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I pay this one. Swap this out for three. I can do. Um, hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's add this. I'm gonna do this one. Oh no. Can't do that. One, two. I'm gonna choose this as a cool card to get. Hazard spread across the realm. Choose a type yeah, of token that. that exists in an adjacent land. Choose and then add one type of token to the target land, which is pretty cool. So you can spread all these tokens around, which I think I wound up. Uh, yeah, I think I wound up doing that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Okay, what are you going to do? So I'm going to wait. Are you ready for me to do things? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to use my innate power here. Because I okay. have these two. So I'm going to gather the beast to this spot. My presence can follow. Okay. Do you want me to do this spot or this spot? Doesn't matter. I'm going to do... That spot's better because it, if we can clear it out, we can prevent a build. At least getting rid of the city would be good. Okay. Okay, so I'll do that one. Okay. Um. Leave that there. And then my other fast power is my super duper one. Which is, I can gain four energy. Okay. So I'm just going to put this here to keep track. And I can forget a power card to gain four more, which the one I just picked up, I might. Let me see if I need it. That's three, five, eight there. Is that right? Eight. Seven. Seven? Mm hmm. Nope, I don't need to forget a card. Um, and then. Oh, it's or. I can only do five damage. Which is good. I can get rid of the city and the two explorers. And there's strife under the town. Um, yes, yeah, so they would build a city, though. I'd get rid of the, the buildings. Even, even though it has strife, I would get rid of okay, the buildings. Okay, okay. I'll spend all five to get rid of these buildings. Can we get That's three here? <clears throat> That's it for fast. Okay. I don't have any fast. Okay. Now we do stuff. Event. Here we go. Choose Beast Hazard, Steve. What's that? Oh, yeah, for the card I picked. Oh, okay. This card. I can actually add more tokens. Oh, okay, good. Which is Beast, good. which would be really good for you. Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, prov provincial seat. Healthy land. We do that one on each board. Choose a land with a city. Build there. 
Okay, so it is only here we have to build. Yep. So it's just a town. Not the end of the world. Which is okay. That's okay. And then we do the rest. It says, beasts chase off homesteaders. On each board, push up to two explorers or one town from a land with beasts. On each board. Can you do your super attack here? Um, no. No? Um, I guess I'll push these guys. Just push them to this jungle because then I can kill them. Are you sure? They're going to ravage this turn. Oh. No, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. I'll push them up here. Um, I can take care of them soon. This, this is going to prevent the build, so it's okay. I can actually build. Okay. And the last one is... On each board, gather one Dahan into a land with Dahan. In that land, defend one per Dahan. On each board, gather one Dahan into a land with Dahan. Which I don't have an option on my board. Yep. Okay. Okay. That is it for the events. We have a fear card, and we're at terror level two. So let's see what it is. It is unrest. Each player adds a strife to a town. For the rest of the turn, invaders have minus one health per strife they have, minimum one. There's only one town. Okay. This actually was very good because of what I'm going to play next. Okay, and has minus one health, so that's good. And that is it. Now we're on to the bad guys do stuff. Mm -hmm. They want to ravage in all settling so ravage here, which the guy just dies. Ravage in the jungles, not, nothing happens. Building in the sands and mountains, which is up here. This goes away. And that's it. That's it. We do explore. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Explore in the sands and wetlands, which is just here mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Oh, here and here. Yeah, you got two of them. Yeah, two of them. Okay. <clears throat> okay, slow stuff. Right? Slow stuff, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to say <laughs> Invader Town. We're in number two, right? Mm hmm So I can do two fear or add a strife. I'm tempted to strife this guy. So they don't blight when they go to ravage you could or do you want me to add fear um i also played these cards so i can i'm, I'm setting up to do massive damage oh wait, i can't put my stuff here that's a coast i forgot that was right next to it um which is okay i can i could put it here instead um i cheated sorry guys did that affect anything no yeah i was i'm, a, I'm just put my token being within range it's not a big deal Okay. Do you want me to strike? Oh, sorry. You can't see what I'm doing. I put yeah. my token here. It has to be here because this is not. This is technically coastal. I cheated. Um, so I want to gather things and create another kill zone. Yeah, but in the meantime, I feel like I should strife that city so it doesn't blight. Well, light. not necessarily because I think I have the to icons. I do have the icons. I can break down that city right now. With your slow stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay. Then uh yeah, do the fear. So if I break down the city. So that'll be broken down broken down into uh three dudes. Three dudes. Um we get one fear for that. And those guys are gonna be right here. Oh you're gathering them to that spot. Yep, getting that spot. Um You're gonna be okay because they're gonna ravage that. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. And then I can, what I can do is I can gather, I can gather more stuff there. So let's gather more of these guys here. Bring this over here. Actually, maybe these, these two, these aren't doing anything. Here. Um, I can pull that town there. This one? Yes. And I have two... For two leaves, which means I can destroy. I don't know. Okay, well, let me finish what I'm doing. I'm gonna get one more fear. I'm playing this card here. And I add a, a Badlands token, let's add it to that spot. Um, let's go ahead and add a beast 
To that same spot, maybe? Two beasts there? Okay. Yeah, beasts there as well. Maybe um, out of the way. Yep, and I can push two, and I can push two guys. Okay, so that's all set up. Now I have the ability to remove some invaders. Remove those guys. It has to be range zero and in inland. Oh. So the only spot is where you are in the middle. Correct. So it has to be here, and it's two two explorers per um, beast or badlands are the other tokens. So one, two, three, I can get rid of two, four, six. Nice. So now there's those. just a little town there. Are you done? Yes. Okay, cool. In that case, add two fear for my terror turns to madness card. Okay, two fear. And that's it. <laughs> Oh, okay. So Good if job, we, Steve. I think we're going to win because also, uh, if we just destroy that, we win the game. Doing fast. Yes, yeah, so we have to beat. Okay. And technically, there's a bad line there, so you get, literally just have to do one damage. Doing fast. Got it. You got it? Okay. So next round? Next round. I am going to take three energy because I can. And ooh, I can reclaim cards on this guy. That's cool. Take that. Yeah, I can reclaim cards too. Pretty nice. Pretty, pretty so nice. Put that there. Just for the sake of doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna play this card. Okay, so then I'm gonna gain two energy. Get two from my normal stuff. Three energy for that. Okay, I got lots of energy. I have all, all right, the energies. Steve. All right, we got it. Fast. Fast. Elusive ambushes. Deal one damage. So this is Kim's card. Just gonna play. The one damage to place with the Han, and guess what? It's got, there. It's, it's got. It's got a bad land, so that's actually two damage. Two damage. And this guy's dead. Yep. Boom. And for level two, you need to destroy all the towns and cities, which we've done. So that's a that's a win. Big W. High five. Woo! Okay, you guys stuck with us. Appreciate it. That was yeah. that was fun at the end. I gave you a little crap in the beginning, you but do. you did really well. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be hazards. So yeah, especially once I got like almost everything cleared off my board. I was pretty pretty happy about that. And then I moved my stuff over there, so I started doing the same thing. Those kill zones are fun with lure. Yes, come here. It's fine. <laughs> Just with the beast tokens. You were able, able to move all the beasts in one yeah, spot. Yeah, that was a good good little team up there. It was. It got a little, a little uh, risky in the middle, but it was fun. I know. Yeah, so I thanks, Ben, for sticking with easy. us the yeah. whole way. Um, yeah. I, I like always... this beast, guys. I've never played as this. Um... You tend to play very, very uh, defensive and very reserved. Not reserved, but... um. I am damage and risk averse. Risk averse is a good With term. the exception of Street Masters, which That's I have now true. turned into I know, it's turning a into murderous a, queen. This is a very murderous creature. It likes to be very offensive. So you're getting very offensive in your uh, gaming uh, choices lately. What's the one stop crew doing to me? I know. <laughs> which is, which is fun. No, it's just great. Um, I was really tempted to play with the other beast's focus spirit because it's very defensive. And they both add tons of beasts on the board, which is really fun to comp off each other. But I did oh, it recently. I thought this worked well together. This was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, fun. thanks for watching. Uh, I think the next stream is going to be Marvel Champions, which uh, Peter and Terrence are going to continue their campaign on Galaxy's Most Wanted. So tune in for that. Is that Friday? That is Friday, correct. Um, yeah, we're not doing anything this the rest of this week. So we'll get back to it next week. Uh, there's plenty coming on this week for streams, but I don't know what we're gonna do next week yet. I might try to figure out. Um, He's asked which uh, which is the beast spirit. Beast spirit. Uh, do I have that one on me? I don't have it on me. It's in the box. I'd have to fetch it out. But yeah, it's a uh, many faces is the beast, and it the defensive beast one. Um, it's a really cool car because the artwork is. It looks like a flock of birds, and I didn't notice that at first, but the flock of birds are just like flying in the air, just kind of weird formation. But the formation is actually a, a human face, which is really cool. 
Um, so that is in Jagged Earth. Um, Many Faces is the name of it. Okay. So to check it out, it's very, very cool. It's, I actually like it better than Shark Fangs, to be honest. Um, not that Shark Fangs is bad. I, um, I just like the defensive stuff and using the Han to my advantage in that one. Um, but that's really fun. But yes, yeah, so they're playing Galaxy's Most Wanted. And next week, I don't know we, don't have, we have plans We don't have yet. plans yet. So if you guys want to see something in particular. We've seen the Spirit Island. Always open for it. Think about doing Sword and Sorcery because I got the new box just came in today. We could probably try to do the campaign together. Mm-hmm. That could be kind of fun to do for a few weeks. Yeah. Um, do you have your uh, board game list like visible to people on board game? Ooh, game? that's a good question. I should post that. I can put a link in the description below. Yeah, because it's like, here's Steve's list. We can play any of these games. Yes. Yes, so. for sure. For sure. Cool. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, and yeah. Anything else? No, we'll see. Okay. We'll see you at the next stop. Nice win. Nice win, W. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye, bye.